Hello. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony program. Having a little fun with uh, Elliot Spitzer today, that's for sure. In the air. Hey! Maybe yeah, in the air. Adam and George yeah. are on with us. Ah, just another 10 minutes of sleep, that's all I needed. <laughs> Ugh. George was sleepy. Oh, God. It's hard to plunk myself down into sleep when I have to do this show. I can't just go, like, right to sleep. Nah, no, never you works. You guys are used to it. Your bodies just shut down at a certain time. No, no not at all. No. Never. That, it sucks. Everyone says you, you'll never get used to doing morning radio, and it's true, because I'm not, I'm not a go-to-sleep-at-7-o'clock-at-night guy. I did everything just, right. I didn't have any coffee after uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't eat late. Yeah, you got to be a gremlin. Yeah, <laughs> still couldn't sleep. You got to be really strict, and that doesn't even work. I went to bed at nine last night because I was tired. Yeah, I, I think I finally fell asleep around eleven. Yeah, you just can't shut down your brain that early in the night. Yeah, uh, Otto and George in studio. He's got a DVD he's pushing, and it looks really, really good. It's called Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Hi, uh, hilarity, Norton. Uh, <laughs> three dummies and a puppet. You got John Valby, you yeah. got Otto and George, and you got Pretty Paul Parsons. Yeah. The funny part about that is uh, Pretty Paul is not pretty at all. Yeah. He's uh, creepy looking. He looks like Bernard McGurk from I Miss the Show. Yeah, a little uh -huh. bit. A little bit, a little bit. And you can get this at laugh.com uh, or ottoandgeorge.com. Yeah. I got a lot of stuff for sale on laugh.com. The checks are rolling in. Yeah? I, I have enough money right now to last the rest of my life unless I want to buy something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm good. glad it's not that uh, works. Very nice. You, yeah, you, you saved yourself on that one. And this is going to be a hard bit to tell. I was watching the uh, DH1 behind, you know, the true story. It was, uh, what do you call it, Freddie Mercury? None of that guy? Yeah, sure. Of Lead course, Queen. Queen. Yeah, and they always interview, like, the chauffeur bodyguard. It's like, on the weekends after a concert, he would have, like, a picnic. He had, the, like, four or five close friends over for a picnic. And he was very wholesome. He'd leave with a picnic basket. Yeah, let's talk to the people who were at the picnic what happened, you know. Uh, well, he spread out the blanket. Then he clubbed me into unconsciousness with a ukulele. And then he violated me right next to the potato salad. I didn't even get a sandwich. He left me there. The limo pulled off with a guy with buck teeth laughing in the back window. I think I got raped by Doug. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? What does that have to do with Spitzer? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah, it's all about Elliot Spitzer today. A, a quick look at other things going on. Not that anyone cares, but Madonna and John Mellencamp, they entered the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last night. We, we think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a complete joke, right, uh, Jimmy? No, I think it's a good move that Sabbath was uh, tried nine times. They inducted them, to, and they finally got in before they were inducted. Yeah. And uh, her, I think, on the first ballot. They're relevant oh, boy, to what rock they? and roll yeah. is. They're really we, relevant. We read the list of bands that aren't in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. I yeah. don't have it in front of me right now, but bands like Rush, bands like uh, Yes, I believe. Well, uh, Kenny and I went there. When I was in uh, Cleveland. Right. I mean, they, uh, they induct Miles Davis. I mean, the great artist, but not even rock and roll at not all. It's rock and just roll. jazz, you know? Right. We went there because I wanted to trash this place. But uh, I'll tell you, the guy who ran it told me that uh, they don't, and he said, we have nothing to do with the inductions. It's, if there's a voting board, so, some by artists. So they're just a building. Basically. So it's not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame itself. Is actually, I was impressed at what a cool setup they have. Like, the building itself was nice. Yeah. The voting board. Uh, should die in a fire. <laughs> the building itself, though, I, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I have to amend my hatred. It's not for them. It's for whatever board decides who gets in. Cause it's, it's a, it's a separate the actual thing. building is, is awesome looking, but the stuff they got in is a bunch of crap, though. Buddy Holly's return ticket. Yeah. <laughs> the other half of Mama Cass's sandwich <laughs> and Elvis Presley's toilet seat. I wish, I wish it was that good. Oh, no. no. Okay. It's stuff that, uh, obviously, the family members found in an attic somewhere. Went, ah, well, here's Jimi Hendrix. I don't know. Boy Scout uniform. Yeah. There, you can have it. Yeah. We weren't going to do anything with it. <laughs> don't have anything of, uh, of, I don't know, stuff where you actually would go, wow. Really? So you got Madonna and John Mellencamp uh, entering the Hall of Fame. Wow. And then you got this dopey story. Billy Crystal. Oh, love this one. What a waxy puppet he's turned into. <sighs> Billy Crystal. Maybe we should just do the news story on this one. Hold on a minute. Some big news at Yankee Camp this morning. Yankee Camp. Yankee <laughs> Camp. 
<laughs> yeah, he can. <laughs> talks like that. It's yeah, not listen. normal. <laughs> listen it's to Yankee the... camp. Yeah, he should gear up. Yeah. yeah. Listen to the excitement. Some big news at Yankee camp this morning. <laughs> yeah. The Bronx Bombers are about to sign comedian Billy Crystal, and that's not a joke. Billy Crystal turns six. No, it is a joke. Yeah. It's a big joke on us. <laughs> What else could it be? Yeah. What, did he discover at 50-some-odd years old that he could hit 400-foot What is he going to do? Billy Crystal, and that's not a joke. It is Billy a joke. Crystal turns 60 years old on Friday, and to celebrate, he is signing a one-day contract with his favorite team, the Yanks. Crystal is going to play in the Yankees exhibition game against the Pirates on Thursday. He's going to wear the number 60. Crystal said, quote, I can help the younger players, which, of course, is all of them. He is the biggest <laughs> and the biggest Yankees fan. He's so confirmed. Cool like very game. nice, very nice. <laughs> Why can't they just be real? Well, yeah. this is what obviously going to do his old black blues man character <laughs> for the thirty-fifth year in a row. Right. This is obviously a publicity stunt. Why can't they 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 tell it like it is yeah. in the news? Ugh. Ugh, is right. Who wants to see Billy Crystal out there? Yeah. No one. It's a mockery. A mockery. Ooh. I hate that. Oh, maybe it's over here. Did anybody see that movie, There Will Be Blood? Not yet. Horrible. <sighs> a horrible. Unwatch, unwatchable. A lot of people say Nothing, it's a great movie. No, they're idiots. Nothing happened in this movie for three hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it should have been called There Will Be Milk Duds. I was at the <laughs> I was at the, the refreshment stand the whole time. I really, really Yeah, but sucked. if you were at the refreshment stand, maybe oh, that's one. No, nah, really nothing happened. It, it <laughs> sucked. It, 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 there's no market. You know, it, it was set in the old days. It wasn't a Western. Yeah. It wasn't anything. It, it, there's no audience for this movie. A little, <laughs> it's a fine actor, but give me a, a break. A little thing about uh, Otto that people probably don't know. You really know your movies. Nah. What, was your, what was your favorite movie that you, you've seen recently? Recently? Um... No Country Not, for Old Men. That, oh, absolutely, yeah. That was yeah, number one. Cool. Yeah, terrific. The Coen brothers are just great, man. I that thought, one was good. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Pretty I liked it because it was no comic relief. It was just brutally, just <laughs> brutal violence. Everyone dies. There was, you know, there was no comic relief. They you didn't try and mix it up, you, you know. You make a really good point there. Yeah, Hollywood yeah. always feels like, ah, oh, we got to get a couple laughs. Very grim, the, very the grim blood here. and bloody and yeah. violent. It was really good. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. 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 Uh, I thought you were looking for something over there, Ann. I was... Yeah. Uh, with, with the Billy I'm on IMDB and my thing looking for a Billy Crystal sound, but I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. It's That's, that I... one. Than's usually pretty good at it, but we're absent today. Than is absent. I was looking for the, can you dig it? I knew you oh, yeah. could. That old black. Yeah. When he <laughs> goes, I'll just, I'll just talk they about it then. They were smoking their own cigarettes that they rolled. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we get it. It's pot. <laughs> <laughs> Schmuck. You know, and he played a trumpet. Yeah. And it sounded like this. Shut <laughs> up. Stop. What is he playing an air trumpet? Yeah. He's just doing a mockery. Put on blackface and sing Mammy. I know. I know. It is. It's just... Oh, is he the worst? Those went theater forever, audience is so forgiving, too, you know? Like I know. John Leguizamo with his stupid characters, you know? Yeah. My Puerto Rican grandmother, my Puerto Rican uncle, <laughs> you know? He's so ver so talented. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Let's, go, let's go to Josh in oh, Virginia. Is that it? Josh? Yeah, how's it going? Hey. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Otto, you're an idiot. There Will Be Blood was an amazing movie. Did Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Which it part? Great. The first 30 minutes, there's no talking, but it's amazing. You're, uh... You're waiting on the edge of your seat. Whoa, see whoa, whoa, whoa. There. 30 minutes of no talking? Yeah. Yeah, but it was amazing. Wow. It's, it's, it's a guy uh, just doing his uh, one single thing in a mine, but you're captivated by the whole thing, wondering what's going to happen next. Yeah, the first hour, n nothing is said. The second hour, oh, my, my kid is adopted. The third, the third hour, uh, has anybody got a bowling pin? <laughs> <laughs> and he freaking clubs the guy to yes, death with a yes. bowling pin. Three hours for this, waiting. You got to give it to the little kid. I stayed till the preacher. end. Sucked. <laughs> oh, oh, man, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. The guy who was the preacher only Overacting had like two weeks to learn Brit it. Faggot and tie to him. Yeah. Otto, right, you guys have a good day, man. Otto Come gives it here. a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Didn't he win the Oscar for that though? Yes, he, he did. did. So what? All right. Just, just, asking. Just, just asking. Take my word for it. It I get a, stinks I, on ice. I got a great joke. Yeah. Go ahead, Jimmy. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> that guy's an ass. <laughs> Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. As oh. Attorney General, he exposed record companies that paid millions of dollars each year to get music stations to add songs to their playlists. As client number nine, he exposed himself to high-priced escorts who would point and laugh at his cashew-shaped genitals. <laughs> Re-elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show. I don't like the fact that our, our laughs or Ann's laugh is put in there like we're the hookers. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's yeah what morning. the hell? <laughs> did you find that on the replay machine? No. Oh, you didn't find oh, it? We've been oh, hoping you, you mean you this? E -Rock, what of course you I did. I'm teasing. What? Can you dig that? I do the chuka. I do yeah. that chuka. Ah, right. And then, you know, when <laughs> Katrina came through, it was hard on all of us. Where were you? Yeah. It was in, in Beverly Hills somewhere. Yeah. But he's the voice of the black man. Billy yeah, I hate Crystal. when he mixes drama and p pathos and comedy. Stop it. Yeah, it's the worst thing I've ever seen a, a yeah. quote-unquote comic try to do. Yeah, I know. What is he going to do for the Yankees? Are they going to let him play, or is he going to just sit on the bench? Oh. I, I hope he takes a liner right to the head. <laughs> oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> just big splits target, his really? head open. He's laying... <laughs> He's laying there just bleeding to death yeah. on the field. It, it, fame is a weird oh, thing. Tragic, uh, <laughs> tragedy today as yeah. Billy Crystal was killed yeah. at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> you know, it was supposed to be a fun-filled day for Crystal. It was a big Yankee fan. <laughs> and uh, to have it end in his death like this is tragic. <laughs> oh, I would just be laughing. <laughs> Here's a... Uh, uh, the video, uh, please remember, the, uh, the get the children out of the room. This is very graphic as Billy Crystal's big, stupid head explodes with his wispy afro on top. All you see is a red mist like he was taken out by a sniper. Dealey Plaza. Oh, I would love that. Just see his head explode. Why is his head getting bigger? Yeah. Something uh, with being famous, man. The yes. more famous you get, your head just Movie uh, stars all have big heads, though. Yeah? It's true. Yeah, they got to have big heads. Yeah. Something about big the heads, camera. no torso. It's true. <laughs> Why Paul, New Paul Newman, Charles Bronson, uh, Pacino. Charles Bronson. Almost, almost every big movie star was freak. Eddie Murphy, freakishly big head, <laughs> but the camera shrinks it somehow. <laughs> the camera yeah. shrinks their yeah. head. Yeah. It's very odd. <laughs> Uh, damn. Tremendous skull on Tommy Lee Jones. Have you seen that thing? <laughs> it's like a jukebox. <laughs> it's, it's huge. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you dig that? I do the chuka. Yeah. I do the chuka. We got a girl calling in from uh, Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, girl, right. how are you? How are you? Uh, hi, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, Good evening. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, blood is uh, amazing. Okay. And they don't talk for like twelve minutes in the beginning. It's not a half hour. Oh, it's long. I'm not twelve that's minutes. A, a might lot. as well be a half hour in a movie. God yeah. forbid a comedian right, exaggerates for like a laugh. That's two right here that didn't like it. What's your, <laughs> what's your point? It sucked. I don't. You're silly. It's amazing and it's intense and it's awesome. No, uh, it wasn't either. <laughs> No. It wasn't any of those adj adjectives. <laughs> School that bitch. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Anthony in New York. Anthony. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? Oh. I want to let you know that uh, Billy Crystal is going to be a celebrity manager, not a player. Uh, then, I, I didn't hear that on the news. Yeah. All they were talking about was how he's joining the Yankees for a day. You think uh, Susan Wallman's going to have something to say about Goodness it? Goodness gracious! Yeah. Billy Crystal's up in George Steinbrenner's box with his wispy afro. <laughs> wispy. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the black gentleman impression. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't know when this man was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. I know you're, you know, yeah. you, you're, you're represented by similar uh, people. Well, I like Billy. Of course yeah. you do. I understand <laughs> what, what the official Analyze line that. has to be. <laughs> no, Billy's oh. been very nice to me. So. An has atrocious he? sequel that was. <laughs> oh, not as bad as that stupid sequel, Curly's Gold. Oh, God. To that stupid Western. Yeah. Oh. 
Nothing better than a good man movie where the city guys go and try to you know, be a rough and tumble. Yeah. And uh, the hardships they encounter. And then they all get together at the end. And the, pull they're it on off. a man case. That's right. They all eat the cracker. Would Once ever, a night. Would you ever go on a man? <laughs> they all take turns eating the cracker in the middle. <laughs> would, would you go on a mancation auto? What do you mean? Just a bunch of guys in the woods? Yeah, like it's it's the latest thing. You know, you get your your boys together and you go on vacation. Absolutely. Together. I prefer the company of men. Women, you just tolerate when they're speaking. You try and look interested. <laughs> they have nothing, <laughs> nothing to say. I wasn't they're expecting just this angle. Buzzkill skanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's right I too. prefer the company of men. You laugh. You could say whatever you want. Be yourself. That was Gleason. Gleason was like that too. Like mm -hmm. they wanted to have fun with the boys, and when you wanted to bang them, you banged them. But aside from the that, boys? oh, absolutely. No, they go the, uh, the checks. The, <laughs> the, the girls, yeah. nothing. That's uh -huh. right. yeah. I'd rather go out with Harvey. Bloods are no good when you want to have some fun. Who yeah. invited the skirts? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sleeping for snips. <laughs> I haven't had lunch in weeks. Just my, squirts. My favorite line in that is the prosecutor <laughs> asked him a question, and he goes, I wouldn't give you the skin off a grape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Joe and Flushing. Joe? You're dumb, Tommy, but you're not that dumb. <laughs> Awful victim at sure. Yeah. Hey, Joe. How's it going, guys? Hey, better now. Uh... I just wanted to agree. Uh, I think there will be blood really sucked. Thanks, man. Oh, now it's three to two. Isn't it boring? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I saw a really good bootleg of it. I want my money back. It really sucked. Yeah, you know, with that title, you figured there's going to be an amazing, uh, at least two great gun battles or a throat slash. Nothing like that happens in it. It was very misleading. you got to think a lot of blood with yeah. a title like that. I was sure. hoping, you know. Yeah. 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 I'm a New Yorker. Actually, it's just a movie about a really a, a girl who's getting crankier by the day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. Oh. As a crusading attorney general, Spitzer vigorously broke up the illicit activities of major prostitution rings. As client number nine, the governor of New York spent thousands of dollars with the Emperor's Club, a major prostitution ring that delivered petite young women to his hotel room to f*** him in the f*** with sticks of dynamite. We hope, because if it was just straight sex, why bother? Re-elect client number nine for governor. Nice, coming in all morning. <laughs> there will be chocolate and salty snacks and bloating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, WSP Matt Man, mm -hmm. he's hoping that uh, on his one day with the Yankees, uh, uh, Billy Crystal gets Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> oh, good, yeah. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> Can you dig that? I knew that you could. I knew that you could. <laughs> yeah. was, there, was there more of that, or was the, that all there was? I don't yeah, know. that's pretty much all there was yeah. of that. Everything else was just sleep-inducing. Yeah. Oh, he just kept going and go. How long did that go? Oh, forever. It went forever. Just to him babbling it's about the, and the houses yeah. were underwater. And, and uh, I had a trumpet that got lost yeah. <laughs> in the hurricane. And, oh. and people sitting there going, well, this is supposed to be yeah. profound. So if I get up, I'm going to look like the uh, yeah, exactly. jackass. Oh, he puts people in this position where they they have to sit there. Yeah. It's like watching a lecture. Yeah, Shut exactly. up, Billy. Exactly. Yeah, you get the, you get funny for overly F's artistic, sake. pompous. You, we got a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of Catholics in house today. You, you get the new uh, no nos from the Catholic Church. Oh no, no what coming down from the Pope? They no. hand out the Pope occasionally comes out with new sins. Oh, <laughs> with new sins, and they don't hold a candle to the old ones. Yeah. I got to be honest with you, new sins suck. They kind of ran out of ideas. Yeah. I'm not going to acknowledge the new sins unless God himself delivers them. Yeah. Not, not some guy we elected. Well, the Pope. The well, we didn't even We like elected him. the Pope? I said, well, we didn't even like them. He's a bit queenish, too. I hate to break it to you. Yeah? You think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes, I do. He was a Hitler youth. Uh, good for him. Wow. He's, he's not now. To think, uh, he's an older gentleman, and I think he's a. You think a little queen? Yes, I certainly do. Mm. Yeah, I think he's a J. Edgar Hoover. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You want to hear the new no nos? Yes. This will uh, get you to hell. Girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thou shalt not put automatic signatures in emails. Uh, <laughs> too updated. <laughs> this is too modern for the church. <laughs> uh, well, you got uh, bioethical violations. That would be, of course, uh, birth control. Oh. New well, forms of birth control, basically. 
of course, uh, the what? continued uh, no-no. For what the a show. shock. The well, church the pre- wants to get out of touch. What the, a pre- shock. the prevention of tissue has always been the big thing with them, right? You, you, every seed must be, yeah. Yeah, utilized. Every you sperm can't is waste sacred. It. Yeah. Well, that uh, leads to this, the next no-no, yeah. the new no-no, morally dubious experiment. Such as stem cell research oh, is a yeah. no-no. Yeah, that, why, why would you bother with stem cell research when it uh, helps people? Uh, it's science. It's not some mythical creatures that are floating around in some uh, abstract space that's called heaven. How about adding Stop. extra relish to tartar sauce? Does he have anything to say about that? <laughs> it's not it's chunky sin. enough. It's a sin. Oh. Number three is drug abuse. Uh huh. A new no-no from Pope Benedict. Number four, polluting the environment is now a sin. Wow. <laughs> you were right. These th- don't hold up to the they old They don't ones. hold no. up. Pollution. So if you throw a, like a, a carton of something out, out of your window when you're driving, it's yeah. just as bad as coveting someone's yeah. wife. Okay. Those were some good sins back then. Yeah. You don't covet. Hold in the parts and littering. pull out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thou, thou shalt not kill or make the Indian cry on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, the next one, contributing to the widening gap, uh, the widening gap between the rich and the poor. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, contributing uh, to the widening That's a sin? gap between the rich and the poor. Yeah, they're running out of stuff to. They're really running out of sins. Uh, These sins to get stink. Oh, well, he's saying share the wealth and, and like. The, well, how about him take one of their million dollar. The hats that the Pope wears, give it to <laughs> some crack whore, you know? Let her get a bunch. God, Otto, you, you hit it right on the head. Yeah. The Vatican is one of the most wealthy organizations. Yeah. The Catholic Church is one of the most wealthy organizations. Yeah. Talk about a Pawn the Pope hat. <laughs> Pawn the Pope the hat. That Pope staff hat. that he has. Well, buy a sell the Pope mobile. Yeah. Buy, buy a Volkswagen. Well, at least yeah. you're, you're Nazi. <laughs> Filthy, lying sodomite. <laughs> you're, you're Nazi queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, Do you have any audio of the Pope talking in his voice? Uh, <laughs> let's find it. Look, here's uh, the next one is oh. excessive. <laughs> the next uh, no-no is excessive wealth. <laughs> well, that's, that's that's the that's Catholic basic, Church and basically where he lives. The Vatican yeah. is excessive wealth. How about the next no-no is not living off government land and not paying taxes? Mm-hmm. How yeah. about how about not uh, not protecting Nazi and, commie homo and moving? <laughs> how about not moving uh, priests who you know are guilty of a pedophilia from parish to parish? Yeah. Is that what they do? Oh, yeah, they just yeah. rotate yeah. them around. Oh, they bury them. Yeah, they oh, okay. Them. Yeah. They don't take them out of circulation. They lamb it. They lamb it for a while. Yes, they do. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> lamb it. I'm on the lamb. I watch the Sopranos. They, they, they got a bad <laughs> regional manager. They don't want to fire them, so they just move them from store to store, hoping wow. they kind of connect. <laughs> they do more trading than Major League Baseball. Wow. <laughs> they just move just these send guys them, around. Send them to another city full of children. And then, yeah. the, and another no-no is creating uh, poverty, which... Uh, uh, you Catholic. can't create poverty. How do you do that? I guess firing. I don't. I don't know. Firing yeah. people taking their jobs away. Awful uh, bunch of sins, <laughs> right? Horrid. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this New Year's batch of sins. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Marco in Queens. Marco. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey. I want to let you know that you guys pretty much broke every single one of those sins on air. I don't know what to do in the privacy of your own home. Yeah. But definitely on air. Yeah. Oh, do we have that? Thank you, sir. We just uh, got a communique here. We have it. Here's uh, Iraq. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. No? I do want to hear that. All right, let's uh, <laughs> say hi to Steve in Niagara Falls You're real fast. something, for God's sake. Steve. Hey, guys. How you doing, man? Good. What's up? I, I got it for you. I always figured that he was uh, the number nine was his code. I figured for his campaign trail next time, he could do the Mambo number nine song. A little bit of Julia in my life. <laughs> Hey, that's not a bad idea. Let's oh, uh, or, or we could rework it and do client number nine. So, of Mambo is, number nine. Is Spitzer a Jewish guy? Oh, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Elliot Spitzer, a platform designed to clean up New York, and extra large platform go-go boots to go with his matching purse and peacock feather hat. Re-elect client number nine for governor. It's nice. paid for by the opening. Scandal. Show. The guy got a hooker. How does Steve throw his own life into this? <laughs> yeah. He likes things pounded. He he likes to wear dresses. His yeah. name. He's a producer. <laughs> right. He's just taking everything from personal experience <laughs> and shoehorning it into our Spitzer bit. You got it, E Rock. Let's go. This is how we finish today. Do you know what it means oh. to miss New Orleans? Ah. I miss it yeah. each night and day. 
I know I'm not wrong. Oh, God. The feeling's getting stronger the longer I stay away. Mr. Moss colored vines, the tall sugar pines, where mocking boys come to oh, see. mocking boys. Yeah. And I'd like to Ugh. see the lazy Mississippi oh. hurrying into spring. Where's hein Heinrich Himmler when you need him? A Creole tune that fills the air. I dream about <laughs> Mocky Boyd's. Soon I'm wishing that hey, I was. Hey, Woim. <laughs> know what it means to miss New Orleans cause that's where you wow. left your home how about shortening this fucker and there's <laughs> more, <laughs> more than I miss New Orleans oh my god Otto <laughs> right on <laughs> oh yeah oh, wow. the, the saxophone solo yeah. Oh, man. Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, Creating poverty, does that include CBS and how they pay or don't pay for the rundown? <laughs> <laughs> Push, Steve. Stephen S. from Bayshore uh, writes the rundown for onaradio.com. Oh. He hasn't been paid since December or something. And uh, Steve doesn't have a lot of money. He could, he could definitely use the money uh, that CBS owes him. Yeah. Why don't they do the right thing and pay the damn guy? You know, the Pope's against poverty. I hear that. Oh, yeah. back to Billy Crystal. Oh. Come on, big, big finish. finish. What? Mr. Bush, can you dig this? I knew that you could. Oh, oh, right, so mighty. Is he doing a kick line thing here? You should only get cancer. I hope you get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one thing more. Jesus. I miss the ones I care for. More than I miss. More than. Oh, yeah. Ugh. And then the people are like, they don't want to applaud this. They do not want to applaud this. Oh, why feed yeah. into him? It, this should have been dead, deafening silence. The guy who made my giant is still getting standing O's for that <laughs> crap. Here's uh, the Pope. We got we got to get out of here. But Jimmy said the Pope sounds a little uh, a little a little, yeah. a little strange. We'll lighten the load. We are invited to contemplate Jesus wow. as an example of how to conduct yes. our our daily. Oh, but it does sound a bit uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> that's chicken good. Yeah, that's Touch my good. monkey. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. against temptation. May this time of purification prepare our hearts yes. to celebrate the saving mysteries of the dead. Yes. And the of yeah. <laughs> I wish you all a pleasant stay in Rome and a blessed Sunday. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, yeah, there's Jimmy, a little, you nailed that one. A little Mia. Paul Lynn going there. That's <laughs> how old. I'm yeah. the Pope. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Full speed ahead. <laughs> Alan Seuss. <laughs> Party favors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bless you. They go, bless you all. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My favorite Paul Lynn, they go, this next question is about cuisine. Uh, Paul, uh, what's the main reason for pounding meat? And he goes, loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> loneliness. <laughs> He went out like a true mo too, <laughs> like yeah. taking true poppers mo. and oh yeah, he didn't play, yeah. Yeah. just croaking on the bed from auto erotic asphyxiation yeah. or something. Uh, face down in a peep booth with like a with like a little bit of uh, egg salad on his face and an ascot. <laughs> oh, can I plug one more thing? <laughs> yeah, uh, my other DVD. It's a sketch show called Detention Lounge. I'm on there with Jim Florentine and my friend Kevin Baco. Nice. And you can purchase that on DetentionLounge.com. Any gigs coming up? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, um, uh, it's all on my website, ottoandgeorge.com. I'll be at Zany's this weekend. And, uh, well, let's make sure people know you got a new product out here that you brought us this morning, yeah. too. You can go to laugh.com. It's uh, Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Yeah. Three dummies and a puppet. You got uh, John Valley, who we love, yeah. has done our show many times. You got, of course, Otto and George. And you got this guy, I really don't know about him, but you guys uh, say he's really funny. He's Pretty unique. Paul Parsons. He's very good. What kind of humor does he do? He's like a kind of a dirty Stephen Wright. He's real. He's real unique cat. He is. 
Very cool. I'm yeah. going to check this out tonight, Otto. Thank you. Uh, New Orleans. Uh, oh, New Orleans. Uh, you any of that on our show. Oh, wait, can I plug Gosh. real quick? Yeah. Uh, this Friday, I'm in Denver at the Gothic Theater. Nice. And then this Saturday, the Pangeus, the whatever it's called, Theater in Minneapolis. But that one may be sold out. But check on my MySpace. Oh, All right, Jimmy. Yeah. Can you dig it? We're off to XM. Have a great day. I'm gay. You guys do the walkover? You still do the walkover? Yeah. The Opie and Anthony Show. XM202. In the world of Radio Shock Jock, the biggest are Opie and Anthony. These people say shocking things that border on offensive uh, in order to entertain their audience. I refuse to sit here and it think that radio up. has to be nice. Why? Why does radio, out of any other medium, have to be nice? We are being now held to a standard where we have to be nice and make people feel good. Go screw! Radio Bad Boys, Opie and Anthony. Controversial radio personalities, Opie and Anthony. Infamous DJs, Opie and Anthony. Talk show radio hosts, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Opie and Anthony. Shock Opie and Anthony. Shock Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. If you want to put it, feel free. I've done it before. I'll let you go from to my. That's really sick. This is where entertainment is going. More audio V Rock in the bathroom. They are sick freaks. Wait, can you pop this? They want to see something squirt out. Aim it over there. <laughs> this is the worst. The worst show I. This is the worst show I've ever been on. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Here we are, XM Satellite Radio. Radio, radio. Beat it. Ah, of course Otto made the walkover. Yeah. Of course he did. Uh, January morning. Fucking Burr. hilarious. From a 1976 article in a National Lampoon magazine. Great shit. As racist and offensive as can be. All right? Mm-hmm. Gonna have to find out what that's about. I used to. Uh, Thanks for the details, Jay. I used we to get those all the time. <laughs> yeah. National Lampoon was very funny back in the olden days. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, did Kenny run out? Yes, he did. Uh, but he might not be gone yet. Kenny might Kenny! still be in the Kenny. I uh, I was just in Tim's studio, I'm running in like Herman Munster, leaving a big shape of himself <laughs> in the wall. G <laughs> <laughs> H. I want to do. I want him to do the dump report really fast, Kenny. A lot of people are requesting a dump report today because uh, Otto is always Thank good you. for a couple. Lily, Grandpa, yeah. I'm worried about Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, get down from that tree, Eddie. <laughs> Wait to hear him and Steve singing Meatloaf stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, we're, really? We're preparing for our big Meatloaf interview for tomorrow, and yeah. Meatloaf uh, canceled but, on us. But apparently he's leaving New York. Another bullshit excuse, I'm sure. Oh, of Meatloaf course. Canceled. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll find out. Let's find out if he's really going to leave New York. Because I, I know he was supposed to do that premiere tomorrow night. Like his premiere. Own, like we were invited or something to his movie thing. Like, tomorrow night in New York City? Yeah. So yeah, let's it, find it, out it, if it, he's really leaving New York. We're getting the blow off. It, why, he's not leaving New York if he's got a premiere tomorrow. This is bullshit. Let's ask Roland. What did Roland say? Oh, well, let's get Roland on the phone I, and find I, out. I, 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 but wait till you hear these guys singing Meatloaf. We'll still play the Meatloaf stuff that we had prepared for I the interview. I can't wait for the big uh, hit. Paradise by the Dashboard. You gotta line. hear the wolf one. <laughs> oh, really? You know, what's that song where they talk yeah, about the wolf? And, with the red rose. With and the, the red rose, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, it was making me laugh pretty good. I, I'll All let right. you know a little secret. One take, Kenny didn't do so good on that song. Uh, oh, no? no? No, it was... It was <laughs> Meat head. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes on way too long. Meat you're gonna dope. Go, you're gonna go from laughing <laughs> to get a really annoyed, and then you're gonna laugh by the end of it, because it's just, it's just uh, awful. Uh, do we have the sweeper for the dump report? Live from the Opie and Anthony Show Studios, the Daily Dump Report. Good morning, everyone. It's Club Soda Kenny with the infamous dump report. Debuting at 7.56 a.m., Jim Norton with a holy shit. <laughs> dump report. And then 7.57, a caller, the governor's, the governor's A-N-I-G. 
Why? <sighs> what? What was that? They dumped out a nig? Yeah. He didn't say it all the way out? He just said nig? No, he just said nig. Yeah, a caller said that. Wow. 814, another caller said fucking. Yeah. 844, Otto made his debut with faggot. Oh. <laughs> Faggot's no good. Why Can you believe be that that's wow. not uh, acceptable? No. I, that's uh, not that a curse word. That was not said. A, that's a not given a curse is wrong word. about that no. one. No. That, he said that was not said in a ra That's fucking. A, that's a wrong dump right there. The word faggot is is really getting a, we a bad reputation. We are allowed to say it. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're not describing sexuality. God, is that fucking irritating. Yeah. It really is. Oh, your mother's cunt now. That was a bad dump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nine bad dump. Yes. Nine o'clock, Otto backed it up with fucker. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, faggot. like, I think that's fine, too. Dump faggot and wonder why people fucker. are fucking running to uncensored content. I have no idea. Yeah. And that's today's dump report. Well, it was supposed to be fun. Now it's... Now it's just, uh... There will be thanks, dumps. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah. There will be dumps. <laughs> there will be dumps. I'm an oil man. We are. We I'm are. Daniel Day... Lewis, I am an oil man. <laughs> All right, you're obsessed with, <laughs> there with this movie. There will be milk duds. <laughs> uh, God, this society is so strange. I, uh, really fast, I think it was CNN, they did the top music downloads for today or, or the past week. Yeah. And because the dude died, everyone feels like they have to download a Jeff Healy song. What the hell is that? It's a it's the number one download. He uh, is the dead blind guy that he played the guitar sitting like it was oh, on yeah, his lap. Yeah, yeah. He was in thing? Roadhouse with Swayze. He was cursed born. movie, by the way. He's dead now, and Swayze's got pancreatic cancer. <laughs> cursed movie, cursed really? Mo cursed movie. Yeah, <laughs> cancer took his eyes when he was a kid, and then it came back to kill him. Did at forty one years old. Yeah, that's why he was blind because of cancer, Ow. huh? What, did it wait around the corner and just let him feel good for a little while? Yeah, no yeah. shit. That cancer's a go. bitch. I'm going to mm. take your eyes and I'll come back uh, when you're 40. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, there you have it. Hey, you eye cancer. God, that's got to be horrendous. Oh. It's <laughs> like a lot of guys, like, they get, like, heart disease and, and they go to get treated. And then, like, a year later, they die of cancer. With my doctor, <laughs> if he treats you for heart disease, you die of heart disease. <laughs> <laughs> Here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the uh, eye cancer that's the bitch. It's uh, all those years are trying to smoke out of your eyes. That's oh. really the hardest part. <laughs> we got to go back Ow. to the Pope. Ow. We, we found this way too late in the first half of the show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's Jimmy cool brought this to our attention, and man, he nailed this. Uh, the Pope sounds a little... Uh, Pope Sally. A little, yeah. s little swishy. A little yeah. fruity. A yeah. little swishy. You are invited to contemplate Jesus. You sound like a little an child. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, creepy. We are invited to contemplate Jesus as an example of how to conduct our, our daily struggle against temptation. May this time of purification prepare our hearts to celebrate the saving mysteries of the death and the resurrection of Christ. I wish you all a pleasant stay in Rome and a blessed Sunday. Now is the time at the Vatican where your dad's touched my monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's good, yeah. I like when he first got in, though. We all were in the Hitler Youth. Yeah. Right, right. Back then, it was uh, just uh, what you did. All we did was, was uh, send a few Jews to camp. It was mostly <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> he does, oof. He does have a... Oh. I don't know. He can't tell yeah. with the accent. Can't really tell uh, the accent. Can yeah. we hear him in German? There's got to be some German audio. I bet him. you the German's a lot different. Uh, oh, God! Yeah. Oh! Raus! Raus! Yeah, I uh, like wispy Juden. Afro. I enjoy I got that. a correction. Brian from St. Louis, he's usually good for corrections and uh, mm -hmm. accuracy. He writes, Oh, it wasn't because uh, he died, this Jeff Healy being a, a big download. It was because some shit dick, dreadlocked fag on American Idol sang his song, Hallelujah. Uh, or Hallelujah uh, or something like that or whatever. Hallelujah. Mm. Well, <laughs> I, I'm, maybe he's just spelling <laughs> Hallelujah wrong. I don't know. You never know. Where are you? Because <laughs> he's <laughs> blind. Yeah. Get it. And, that, and while we're at it, let's <laughs> boo. Let's wish Coke Logic a very happy birth. Oh, hey. how about that? All right. Not that I give a shit. I was just saying, how about that? Hallelujah. I'm a corpus. Do we <laughs> want to talk to Dennis Hoff. Steve wants to know. 
Would he have anything on the uh, the well, Elliot Spitzer thing? Probably well, not. Yeah, right? but, but he's a TV guy, right? Do we have the latest on Elliot Spitzer? I think <laughs> it's still. Uh, Is he retired yet, or resigned, or whatever the fuck it was. We're st we're waiting. Left killed himself. That'll be uh, done by Friday, right? Yeah, he's gonna pull up fucking Chris Benoit with his family. Oh my god. Uh, let's say hi hi to Stuart Summers. Stuart. Yes. How are you today? Good. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, I heard I heard that retarded is no longer a good word to say. No, you can't say retarded. No, you have to say picture wrecker. <laughs> yeah, I, I was on the news. They said something about they're, they're saying uh, mentally challenged now or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, big, it's big 1990. Yeah, but see, here's the problem. We we talked about this yesterday. We'll start uh, using mentally challenged to the point where that won't be acceptable anymore yes. because we're pointing yeah. out that they might be different from being normal. We'll yeah. have to go to Mo Howard yeah. hair. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> with that thing. <laughs> also, hey, also, also, I was riding yes. in the car the other day with my wife. She was kind of reading a book. And Sounds dull. You we were playing the Kenny and uh, Patty, the uh, John Travolta. Uh, there is no God. Yeah. And anyway, she looked up and said, are they making fun of Downs' children again? Again? Yeah, we do a lot. <laughs> she sounds like a fun chick. Yeah. Yeah. Her name's Jennifer, too. Ugh. <laughs> if women wonder why we don't want you around we're trying to be funny, that's why. Right. It's because that's what women later. do. They, all right, Jesus Shut up! Christ. It's not about you. Do you have, yeah. have you ever had a conversation? Has he ever had a give and take before? <laughs> right. It's well. him, him, him. Yeah. Me, him, me, him, me, him. Me, 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 I'm a real person, sir. I'm not an actor in your play. Fucking asshole. You're just there to give him cues. I'm talking. He just keeps going. Like, there's not a pause button on me, shithead. I exist. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? Oh, see, now now we're all fucked up. Tim in New York. Tim. Hey, guys. Hey, it wasn't Jeff Healy that wrote Hallelujah. It was Jeff Buckley. He's been dead for like 12 years or so. Oh, Spuds, Spuds Buckley? Buckley. <laughs> he should be dead. He really. I left that disc at home today. Did you? Yeah, what a shame. Yeah, so, so me bringing up that whole fact uh, is just stupid because I, I got everything wrong. Yeah, I can't turn. It was Jeff Buckley, and it was because the Idol guy sang it last night. <laughs> Nothing to do with Jeff Healy and his death. Well, you should just said you read it at the Times. <laughs> right, right on a placemat at a restaurant. Ooh. So much for him being good for accuracy. Oh, fuck, I thought I hung up on you already. Shit, you got another line in. Oh. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Let's say hi to Fred in Maine. Fred. My name is the Pope, and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a little... Huh? We gotta get some German audio of him. Absolutely. Yeah, good. Uh, Dave in Jersey. Dave. Yeah, I got a question for you guys. Um, with the with uh, Spitzer and the governor and stuff, have you guys seen the look his wife is giving him? Yes. And yeah. all the videos and the you pictures expect. on, like, on Drudge and CNN looks like, oh, my God. You know, if I was Spitzer, I mean, he's a billionaire. He comes from a lot of money. I would just leave. I, I wouldn't even. Wouldn't you just leave? I would go yeah. out of style. Like, nothing oh. good could come of this. You, your, your career is done. Walk your away. Marriage is done. Just, just no walk statement. Away. Nothing. You just leave and go. Eh. You pack. You pack up some things. They walk in to see what the governor's doing, and it's like, wow, he just left. Yeah, right. the governor just left. Uh, hold on a minute. Now we got more info about the Jeff Healy, Jeff Buckley, American oh, Idol, okay. blind cancer thing. Oh, no. uh, Dave in Halifax. What's up, boys? Hey. Good evening. Uh, yeah, just uh, Dreadlock did it, man, but it's uh, Leonard Cohen, who just got uh, actually put on the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there the other day. He's the dude that did that hallelujah <laughs> crap. So. Leonard Cohen. <laughs> All right. I and, uh, uh, Jeff Healy's actually from my hometown here, so. All right. I think yeah, we, know I, it's not him. I think we can finally end this. Uh, hopefully, I don't yeah. know. Man, ender. Like, he who cares? Talk. Yes. It's a Molly Hatchet song. <laughs> yeah. How are we going to keep this going? I think now that's the end of it. Leonard Cohen came up with that song, right? All right. So then, why is Jeff Healy number one? Huh? Because hmm. he's dead. No, Jeff Healy's not number one. I said no. that. I, oh. I effed up the whole thing. Oh, you did. I thought the callers were. No, I thought Jeff Healy. It was Jeff Buckley. And it was Jeff Buckley because oh. American Idol do sang the song, but it's not a Jeff Buckley song. It's a Leonard Cohen song. Holy shit! That's where we're at with that whole thing. Okay, so Jeff Healy's fucked. Yeah. He's dead, and he's not number one. No one cares about him. Right. No, 
I was wondering why that would be because he's been dead for a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's not like the old blind cunt just kicked off yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I say that with love. It <laughs> would uh, be great that. if you're, you're blind like uh, he was and all you donate to science are your eyes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Your donor card, you know. Yeah. There's two Jaspers you can play with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Aggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, play jacks with these worthless things. <laughs> <laughs> fucking put them on your put them on your mantle. They'll work just as well there as they did in my fucking head. <laughs> these two useless orbs. <laughs> them from your rear view. <laughs> yeah, put a, put them in your fucking scrotum. Maybe they'll produce sperm. They certainly didn't pr produce images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what two fucking God. awful testicle eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say hi to Jim in Philly. Uh, Jim, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. <laughs> hey, I wanted to know if you guys saw, it's a documentary called Zoo, based yes. on the bestiality of the guy who died getting fucked by the horse in Seattle. Kenneth Pinion, yes. I have not seen it. I heard it was on one of the channels the last night. It sucked. The documentary It was stuck. awful, huh? Because they don't name them, these fucking cowards. Ty, yeah, at least everyone, Tom... Uh, guys, sir. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I interrupted you. It, it was, uh, yeah, they blocked everyone's name that was on it. They gave them all, like, just what they did for a living, and that was it. Huh. That's, so it wasn't worth uh, even calling about. <laughs> so it wasn't even worth <laughs> well, there's, this there's discussion. It's a complete waste, <laughs> waste of time. I just wanted to call and tell you that. Reenactment. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, guys. Actually, you saved me some time because I was thinking about watching that dumb thing. It was just weak. Yeah. There was, uh, I mean, it's worth seeing just to see the... Like, they give some information, but the fact that they didn't name him annoys me because, uh, what's his name? They, they play the audio of Tom Likas, and mm -hmm. the guy's name is, and then they stop it. It's like, what are you doing? Why, yeah. why shouldn't he be named? He, he's not a child. He's a fucking, he's a silly goose. Yeah, let's say hi to Lunchbox <laughs> in PA. We continue with Jeff Healy. Yes. Hey, I gotta hear Jim C. tell how uh, Healy died. Hmm. I gotta hear some Jim C. I, I don't know how Healy died. <laughs> I'll, uh, hey, I'll do some Jim C. He had cancer in his eyes. <laughs> it wasn't murder. There you go. He, uh, Sam, you got tiny genitals. Why don't, why don't He's we... making the hands, though, uh, sir. Yeah, the any consolation. Hands. Lieutenant Monahan. Why don't hey. you get the music for Jim C? To get it on the other place. Dwarfs Brothers. Because he wasn't really putting his all into Jim C. No, so of... why do the music? I want to yeah. talk to the punk yeah. rockers. So, so you don't do any Oscar <laughs> Madison? It's all. It's always Quincy. It's, it's always, always Quincy. Always, my why, life is Quincy. Why would you do Oscar yeah. Madison when you can do Mood. Quincy? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mood. There's no accidental death. I got the latest on uh, Mr. Spitzer. Impeachment. The latest? Yeah, this is all we got so far. Impeachment proceeding. Mm -mm. Republicans set deadline for governor's resignation. So they're giving him a chance to do the right thing and resign. If not, it's going to get ugly. Uh, mm -hmm. If Governor Elliot Spitzer opts to roll the dice and not resign, state Republican leadership may force him to go all in and call for his impeachment from office, according to State Assembly. gambling analogies there. Sources Ooh. told CBS 2 HD. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. In high def. Mm -hmm. Shortly oh, after it was reported... Dick. <laughs> yeah. uh, that the governor was linked to a prostitution ring that he would hand in his resignation, which could happen within the next 36 hours. State Assembly um, in, uh, James Tedisco told CBS 2 HD, mm. huge <laughs> dick, mm. that he spoke with uh, oh. Lieutenant Governor Patterson uh. Monday evening and that the two discussed Patterson taking on a new role of leadership. Patterson spoke to a photo on the wall <laughs> and said that he thought that it was forthcoming. <laughs> As Patterson spoke into the ear end of the phone, he said... <laughs> Before falling down a staircase. <laughs> he said... <laughs> oh, uh, That's right. Patterson shook hands with a stove <laughs> and, uh, and high-fived the hamburger helper before he said... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Patterson took a shit on a big wheel and then tried to flush by hitting the wheel. <laughs> Should have quit while I was ahead. Uh, it's still good. Spitzer's ego is too big to quit. Stupid Mr. Burns lookalike. Hey, he's got a little uh, young Mr. Burns in him, right? Mm. Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. Ooh. During his time as Attorney General, Elliot Spitzer was tough on white-collar crime and securities fraud. While at the Emperor's Club, he enjoyed having his ball bag tickled with the feathers of exotic waterfowl. <laughs> Re-elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show.
very nice. Client number nine. Uh, Dickie uh, Punchcock writes. Here's Dickie the latest. Punchcock? The, it's been a while. The hmm. Dickie Punchcock yeah. from Whackback. Here's the latest yeah. on Spitzer. He's a man that loves Snatch. Back to you, Opie. Hmm. Pretty obvious. I'm just uh, looking. I can't. Uh, what is it? I got the twelve-year-old dwarf brothers huh? on uh, the Today Show. I'm just looking. Look at these little <laughs> yeah. freakish dwarf yeah. brothers. They're not brothers, though. It's a guy and a girl. Yeah, but it said brothers. What's wrong? No, that's well, that's a guy. It's, that's it's, a brother. It's, yeah, that's two. Yeah. The, oh yeah, it is. All right. It looks pretty. like a little dwarf Hanson. I have yeah. more yes. of a problem that his brother looks Asian. The dwarf. Yeah. 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 Then, exactly. His cock's actually regular size. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what is it, Freak Show Day? He's 41. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little, a little kid. kid. <laughs> it's like five. Yeah. He's 43 years old, and uh, hey. he's got the uh, dwarfism. we got to help someone out here. Steve, uh, Pennsylvania, Anytime. yes. Yeah, good morning, boys. How you doing? Good. No. Uh, good. Uh, I'm just reading about Elliot here a little bit this morning, and uh, I was just wondering if Jimmy could kind of fill in the gaps here a little bit, because I know he's uh, kind of you know an expert on this stuff. Okay. Uh, they're saying here... Uh, he had done enough business with the service to have $400 in credit and a reputation for unsafe requests. He even wound up paying Kristen an extra $1,600 to restock his credit. What the hell does that mean? It, it just what? means that they had a running tab. There's like a bar tab, but obviously very discreet at the, at the escort service, and he had some extra money on Can there. I jump in here, too? They said he had $400 in credit. That means this guy was uh, a chiseler. He was probably like figuring out exactly how long that uh, the the woman was in his hotel room. Mm -hmm. Said, "Oh, you're 20 minutes short of an hour here. I'm I'm, I'm taking it off my tab. I'm gonna round I, down." Right. I think he had it in his tab, and when any normal person probably would have just because he can't do anything with 400 bucks. Right. At that service, it was yeah. too expensive, and so instead of just tipping the girl the 400 bucks. Right. That's what I'm getting at. He left it in his account. Right. Ugh. Well, what I mean, for the next time. Cheapo. For next yeah. time, but he's got to deposit more anyway. Right. Yeah, but so why, why does he not just? That's kind I'm of sure cheap. it's an interest-bearing account. Oh, I'm sure it's a high yes. yield. A yield. Yeah. It's, <laughs> a yield. It's right. 11 eleven percent and one fucking humiliating scandal. <laughs> one stone-faced wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Steve. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering if you could kind of fill in. Uh, what do they figure out as unsafe request? Is that like no bag or? Yes, he asked to not wear a condom, and he, and he asked her. Oh yeah, we could talk about it on the other side. We're thinking blowjob without a condom. We're right? fucking without no, a condom. Fucking no, fucking. It probably ass fucking with no condom. Yeah, oh, it's hard to pick. We're hoping it's an ass fucking. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah, it was an ass fucking. Yeah, we're really all in with the ass fucking. And I'm hoping he wanted her to wear a Magic Johnson jersey while he did it. <laughs> 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 oh, he fucked her in the shitter. I think more is going to come out, man. Yeah. More details. I treated you like a son, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, sir. We got to go to Jeremy in Jersey. Uh, Jeremy. Good morning, shit dick. Hey. Hi. I'm interested to see what uh, Lieutenant Governor Patterson's vision for the future of New York is. My vision. Got it. Blind. His Stephen S. from Bayshore. Hey, Ope, tell Anthony the term dwarves is no longer acceptable. Hmm. The new word everyone is using is kickables. Freakish. Oh, kick kickables. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of retards, you think the Elliot Spitzer uh, thing is the story of the day? It's gotta be. I got okay. story of the day, All right. which is way bigger than Elliot Spitzer. Outrage over parents' decision to have Down syndrome child undergo cosmetic surgery. Wow. Did it! They don't want him to look like uh, a tard. A retard. <laughs> Listen to this. This is by far the story of the day. Uh, the parents of a girl with Down syndrome have caused a public outcry in the U.K. by subjecting their daughter to cos uh, cosmetic surgery to improve her appearance. Why not? Uh, Georgia Bussy, or Bussy underwent radical and painful cosmetic surgery three times by the age of five so she could fit in with her peers. Why would anyone be <laughs> outraged about that when yeah. all they're doing is making her life a little bit easier? What fucking little. purists people are. It is what fucking Although assholes. when you look in that face... Usually you have no expectations. None. Now, if you, there's plastic surgery, and then you talk to it, yeah. and then you get one yes. of those, you know, uh, you be like, oh, Jesus, you bamboozled yes. me. There's a woman applying for the job. Which one? The one eating the pencils. <laughs> <laughs> but she looks like a supermodel. Yeah, what the hell? I'm a little confused here. <laughs> Parents of another girl with Down syndrome. Button told nose them. and a brain to match. <laughs> <laughs> 
Parents of another girl with Down syndrome told the paper that they were also considering altering her appearance in the future so she could be more accepted. In the future. Uh, uh, the parents hit back because a lot of people are complaining here, saying that no one complained when normal children had their ears pinned back. Are they pinning well, back it's, ears? It's a little of bit kids? of difference. Uh, I, I know you do that to it. Yeah, thanks yeah. to a dog. But I thought yeah. that was ages ago. They did that. They had her tongue shaved. <laughs> they stretch midgets now. They do this thing with the leg. Oh, oh that's sick. The bone it takes years. Yeah. It ta it's painful. Painful surgery. And yeah. they, they put holes in your legs, and yeah. they put these big braces, and then they take a big wrench. Yeah. And every so often they just go click. Yeah, yeah. And, it's and like, like a crank. And, yeah. And like crank you up another little fraction of an inch. Yeah. I know a little something about that too. You know that midgets in the midget community look down upon that. Although they should be looking up, about that. <laughs> looking yeah. up at everything. Hey. But they get pissed off if uh, if these people attempt to get uh, taller. Yeah. Oh, I, screw them. Well, why? Because they, I mean, they, they're saying you should be proud of being a midget no, and short should, and all that crap. You should live with no. it. Yeah. You should you be do. proud of it. You, sh you should learn not to kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, as proud as you can get. Yeah. Uh, this goes on. Jimmy Messer. Any other small handicapped group we can uh, really yeah, no pound kid. on today? I mean, we really are <laughs> bullying cunts, aren't we? <laughs> we stink. <laughs> we go after the tough targets. <laughs> we shut our they mouth. We shut our mouth about Spitzer until he, uh, you know, stepped in duty. They yeah. are tough targets too. They're so small, they're hard to hit. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, Jimmy mentioned the tongue. Yeah. In the first procedure, Jimmy George's tongue was reduced to stop it from protruding. Good! According to the paper. Good! Sticking out. Always getting sunburned. Yeah, always looking like an idiot. <laughs> How <laughs> blithering do you want to look? Yeah. A tongue hanging out of your mouth makes you look stupid. <laughs> it really is like the the hallmark card, greeting card of the, stupidity. The, the big sheepdog the, tongue the, lying uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> that really is. So that should be numero uno on the yeah, list. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> then folds of skin were removed from the inner corners of her eyes to take away the Just, slantiness characteristic oh, of yeah, Down chow? syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> folds of skin. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, little slanty pain. eyes they get. And finally, she had surgery to stop her ears from sticking out. Mm. Uh, right. And then this family said, society often judges people on the way they look. Society's not going to change overnight, so Georgia has to fit into society r rather than society fitting into the way she is. You sew her mouth shut. The second she opens that thing up, the jig's up. Yeah, and she's going to move to L.A. because it's easy to spell. <laughs> <laughs> There's your story of the day. That's, that's nice. That's pretty terrific. We got it's a nice uh, family. We got the Pope uh, speaking German family. for everybody. <laughs> Just got to mm. load it up here. Right. Is this in Nuremberg? 1938. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Jim in New York. Jim, what's up? Hey, man. Hey, guys. Oh, what's Jim. What's oh. up? Hey, I noticed Keeler got his ears pinned back about a year and a half ago. It wasn't even that bad. Not like Dumbo like or anything. Did they you know, it wasn't a retard. pinned back? I'm sure they don't use pins, do they? How's that I done? I don't know what did. You know, it was some surgical, surgical procedure I had to go through. Yeah, you know, I think they cut like the back of your ears and then, like, take a little chunk out and pull it and sew it. Like sew it said, back. It like wings or anything. It That's just... weird. I never heard of that one before. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Sean in Albany. Sean? Hey, Ope, i got to call you out, brother. Your, uh, your, all your knowledge about dwarf etiquette you got from watching the heightening episode on Seinfeld. Actually, I got my info from uh, Little People Big World. Yeah, yeah. You watch that show? Yeah, yeah. I, I, right, wouldn't, I wouldn't... The fascinating. Shows. Thank you, sir. They're fascinating. Yeah. You really Those watch that freaks. show? I watch it every week. To stare at a midget is not proper, but on that show, you could stare for an hour and just look at their little <laughs> chubby little legs, having a normal life, you know, <laughs> fixing up their little house. Uh, that's great. Bathing in a walk. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> a little bow-legged walk they do. And if we want to help us all... Juden. Yeah, this is the Pope, uh, obviously, in German now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. The only one that doesn't make this language sound like uh, monstrous. Yeah. Maybe he's speaking... For Europa and for the world. Amen.
Maybe because German is such a harsh language, he's speaking that lilting way just so he won't come off as a Nazi. As sounding know? all, you know, yeah. Joseph full Mengele. of piss and vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Hitler knew how to speak German, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so <it was> screaming, <laughs> hollering, nodding. He knew how to accent <laughs> certain words. Well, yeah. Yes, he did. Fist comes down. Uh, someone's very obsessed with the pad data, saying it sucks today. Just want to bring that to everyone's attention. Let's go to What's Ryan in data? Iowa. Ryan. Yeah. Ooh. Uh oh. You what? That, you get that from the lesbian bar? The AIDS? No. And it was hanging Lesbians out at are the healthy. Lesbian, uh, bar. Let that be a lesbian to you. Was, <laughs> were, were they cute ones? Or like? Uh, they, no, they were pretty much uh, a lot of William Frawley's in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick. <laughs> William Frawley's with Ethel Mertz's. Oh, God, really? Yeah. With Vivian Vance. <laughs> it was really, uh, yeah. It was just, uh, you'd see uh, what you thought were guys walking around. Yeah. And then they turn around, and still you'd think they were guys. And were then you you'd realize in there, or, or were you Yes, like, I was shunned? well. I was welcome. Yeah. I wasn't really shunned, even though I, I did have a penis with me yeah. at the time. But uh, they didn't shun shun yeah. me. How, what percentage of the dykes that you saw did you think you could take in a fist fight? <laughs> wow, let me tell you, fucking, some not of them are many. Brutal, right? Not yeah. many. They're big too. Uh, some of these women get big. There was the bartender was arm wrestling. Yeah. And uh, That's big normal. big arm, big tattoos oh, and shit. shit really? oh, tattoos on her bicep. Oh fuck yeah! Lick that snatch. Lick it. Well, I, gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I might have to puke, so that's why I'm walking out. Are like, you okay? Yeah, I, I think I had too much coffee and fruit. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I have to have this shit, but I can't burp. But I think yeah, I'm take puke. a mic with you. So, no, I right. can't. I'm allowed to walk in. Yeah, fuckers. So, you're right, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah I'll be okay. Your cell phone. I feel like something. I have to, and I'm like, it's like coming up. So puking, yeah. really? Wow. Yeah, well, all right, you feel better, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy's a little ill. Jimmy. You're right. Big tummy sloshing with urine. <laughs> <laughs> sloshing. It's like when you drink too much lemonade. Right. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, so uh, the the lesbian was arm wrestling. Yeah, arm wrestling. That's like her guys that's too, her but bit? the guys were a little faggy. Mm. You know, they were a little fruity, and uh, she was arm wrestling and beating everybody. Yeah, just had these big fucking massive Be biceps. Honest, you think she could have beat you in an arm wrestle? Fuck yeah. yeah. I was actually, and I'm looking over, thinking, you know. I think I want to fucking try that out. Yeah. You know, I think I could take her. Oh, oh, oh arm sex. wrestling. Yeah, arm wrestling. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank God that was clarified. Oh, <laughs> oh <fa. laughs> Yeah. So yeah. made a lesbian bar thinking. I, I really want to try I that out. I want to try that <laughs> out. Yeah. Get through that thatched cottage roof of a pussy she's probably got. <laughs> Yuck. Fucking machete your way through like the Southeast Asia. <laughs> it was uh yeah she was she was like uh, very uh, strong mm -hmm. so I thought hey, if I could take her yeah and I wasn't sure if that would make the lesbians mad at me cuz it's like oh look a regular guy comes in and yeah. beats yeah. her and then if I lost I'm just you know Masculated. another guy that yeah. lost so there was a no win scenario mm. you should have done it you know, for the story uh, what should have done it for the story no. get beat by a dyke no win situation well, that's that's fine Kobayashi Maru of lesbian bars. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, Star Trek assholes. No stunning beauties in there. Uh couple. Only, no. only, only the ones with me. Oh yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Everybody else was the ones dogged. with you. There's well, piece. I was with guests. Another piece of the puzzle. No, well, I was just with guests. Uh -huh. Why did you uh -huh. go into a lesbian bar? Was one of the girls you were with gay? No. Oh no. Just so a curiosity. Yeah, factor, just yeah. friends and stuff. You yeah. know. Said, ah, why don't we go to this lesbian bar? But that's and not. I figure, ah, you know. But that's not you. What? Maybe it's the new you. It's the me. It's me. I do things like that. Yeah. Uh, if it's fun, I'll do anything that's fun. Why not? All right. Let's see how to ride. Throw caution to the wind, Opie. That's what I do now. That's my mm -hmm. motto. No caution whatsoever. Throw that's what caution we're caution to the wind. We're trying to teach you caution. I yeah. have caution. Now, when you're gambling and I have plenty of caution when I gamble. Yeah. I win. <laughs> I win. Ryan in Iowa, what's up? How's it going, guys? Hey, Ryan. I just, uh, I know Imus and Stern got black women working for them so that they can get away with making fun of them. Uh, is that why you guys got Club Soda Kenny working for you guys so you can get away with making fun of Down Syndrome, baby? <laughs> oh, Kenny, he oh. called you... Kenny. Profoundly retarded. Called you a waterhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite term. Yeah. Uh, it's so uh, wrong, guys, but thanks, so Kenny. funny. Awful, right? Kenny's a good guy. 
How are you, Kenny? He's just good, so good. big. You got a binyan yet today? I'll get you one. No, uh, you're not Thank going you. back out there. I, there I'll a... get you one, GH. No, it's no, it's no bother at all. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Re-elect Governor Elliot Spitzer. As Attorney General, he was instrumental in building cases against the unethical practices of many brokerage firms in the state. As client number nine, he enjoyed having only the finest fruits and vegetables pounded into his rectum by high-priced escorts. Re-elect client number nine for governor. Paid for by the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey, what transcript did he get? I, I, I swear that I'm reading this on instant feedback. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dale Cruz writes from Massachusetts, uh, what's up with Lee Abrams? So shut the fuck up, Steve. Lee Abrams is leaving XM Satellite Radio. He didn't mean that. I was just told 10 minutes ago. He probably ago, just meant like... Ago. He probably heard something like an old promo and Lee was going somewhere. It's like, what's up with Lee Abrams? No, Lee Abrams, who I love, this guy is a legend, is leaving XM Satellite Radio. I guess... Where's uh, he going? I guess the whole staff was just told right before 9 o'clock and, uh... He's going to, the announcement of where he's going will be tomorrow. And I guess it's a great opportunity for Lee. Open up his little pot transportation business in his plane from Columbia <laughs> right. to fucking Florida. Hmm. Coca transporting cocaine. <laughs> um, you know, they didn't want us to talk about it, but if it's on instant feedback, shut the fuck up. People know. I never said I went to the fucking lesbian bar with guys. Ryan from Iowa. Why would I go with guys to a lesbian bar? Don't be silly. Well, you got your haters. I, I got this guy, Gay Opie I. Hughes. Wow, that's real funny, dude. Uh, Opie, not funny when, <laughs> you, when you call Anthony an addict. It makes you sound like an ass. Uh, oh, no. He yeah. gambles once a month. He has no self-control. Once a month. I Get wish. a fucking clue, you calorie-keeping faggot. Whoa, what? Uh, obviously, Jesus. Gay Opie I. Hughes, you don't like me. That's fine. Whatever. But if you don't get why we bring up Anthony's uh, gambling addiction, then then go fuck yourself. Go listen to something else. Yeah. I don't give a shit if Anthony gambles his entire fortune away. <laughs> That's the truth <laughs> of the whole fortune. fucking thing. And I know a little bit more My than fortune. you. My fortune. Norton, get about, the bag. About his gambling. Get the bag, Norton. You ass. My fortune. Some people are never satisfied. <laughs> This guy thinks he knows everything because he he uh, listens a little bit here and there. The fact is, Anthony Anthony gambles some huge fucking hands. Some That's people, right. Some people would look at that as maybe an issue. Yeah. I'm living life, motherfucker. Because this That's what I'm doing. This dope goes, oh, he gambles once a month. He gambles once a month with probably, he probably gambles in one hand the amount mm. of money you make in one year. Mm. Isn't that awful? You dope. But I only do that if I'm winning. Huh? I only do that if I'm winning. And then what, you back off? Mm. Oh, see, Lee Abrams' resignation is already on orbit cast, but Steve's like, oh, don't talk about this. <laughs> it might be fake. <laughs> right. Was he a beloved guy, beloved guy here? Huh? Was he a beloved? Yeah, Lee's great. Yeah. He, he, uh, he did a lot for this business, and he did a lot for XM. Yeah. And it sucks that he's leaving, And but he's definitely not being forced out. I want to make that perfectly clear, because of all that merger crap. So, oh, here it is. Lee Abrams resigns from XM. Uh, XM oh, nice Satellite Radio's chief creative officer, Lee Abrams, has resigned from the company today, according to a letter sent out to employees this morning. Abrams, who joined XM in 1998. Wow. Hmm. That's when no one believed in satellite. Can't this believe he's that old. This guy has a vision. Uh, will be part of a new company starting in April. Further details on this next endeavor will reportedly be available tomorrow. Endeavor. Is with Lee Abrams Endeavor. And then you get the, then you get the bullshit uh, statement from the bullshit exec. In this case, Eric Logan. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> He's the bullshit executive. You know, you've read this crap many times, and here it is. It yeah. is with mixed emotions that I announce to the company that Lee Abrams has resigned. What's mixed emotions. I'm happy and glad. <laughs> it's a little mixed. What's the mixed emotions? Mm -hmm. Happy for him, sad to see him go. Is that the, the corporate bullshit? Uh, no, actually, it's jealous bullshit. He's, like, sad that he's going and actually getting a job. Right. And, uh, I don't know, Logan might be out on his ass. Yeah, Logan's still waiting for his boat to come in. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the sadness part comes in. 
Uh, Lee's impact on XM and the entire satellite radio industry would be impossible to capture in an email. Lee's going to get a job bagging groceries till he hangs himself in a halfway house. <laughs> Carve his initials on a fucking beam. Creep. <laughs> uh, World's a little too fast for me. Yeah. Uh, Logan went re- all out for Lee Abrams' announcement. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> we got it. Wow. I don't know. Maybe I'll just rob the grocery store. Yeah. Maybe I'll just rob XM. Maybe I'll shoot Eric Logan, and they'll put me back in jail. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a little bird inside his coat pocket. <laughs> he gets up and ugh, just clumsily kicks that fucking table out from under his feet. His old shoes hanging there. What was that? Shawshank. Oh. Shawshank, yeah. That, that was I so that damn one. depressing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm working from XM. Uh, I got a job down at the Foodway. <laughs> <laughs> Foodway. <laughs> the Foodway. Bagging groceries for cunts. <laughs> Good hang yourself, you old bastard. While well, Logan, <laughs> I saw a car once. <laughs> it was a little too fast for me. Good. Logan spent at least 10 minutes on the big uh, the big email to the company on Lee Abrams' uh, resignation because it continues with at some, least 10 minutes. It, it continues with some terrific stuff for a guy that uh, gave his soul to XM for the last 10 years. So far, he gave us it is with mixed emotions that I announced to the company that Lee Abrams has resigned. Then he goes on to say, Lee's impact on XM and the entire satellite radio industry would be impossible to capture in an email. That's called laziness. That's called. I bet you can give it a whirl, <laughs> right. Elo. That's called. I really don't feel like spending the next hour drafting this email. It's impossible to capture everything this gentleman has done for the industry. Right. Because I'm much too tired to type. Exactly. So I'm on my 11th bourbon. Right. It's hard to type with your forehead. <laughs> I can't possibly do that because I'm a beaten man, and I'm just praying that someone gets me out of this hellhole that I've been in for the last year with this merger crap. Uh, well, it's uh, impossible to capture in an email. However, everyone in our company knows that Lee's vision and creative force is a key reason why XM is as successful as we are today. That's right, being bought Uh-oh. by Sirius. Yeah. <laughs> what, with the stock price down? <laughs> yeah. That's Thanks. wonderful, Logan. What are you doing? Stock prices is at an all-time low. There's a billion dollars in debt, but... <laughs> what did Lee do? Come up with the fucking serious dog symbol? Right. <laughs> <laughs> he told Mel, go over there. <laughs> oh, that Lee. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the reason why Axim is successful. Is as successful as we are today. Oh, my God. There's nothing but horrific news that comes out when you Google XM. No, uh, all kidding aside, Lee is uh, the real deal. We love um, Lee. Lee's mark on our medium will be remembered forever, and we are grateful to have had Lee as one of our founding programmers and architect of our programming philosophy. The architect. His, his yeah. contributions are too numerous to enumerate. I'm guessing they found pot in his office. <laughs> Something. He had to resign. Right. He's fucking... He's client number he's eight. Client, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was going to say that. He's client fucking eight. Uh, Lee's last day with XM will be sometime in the next three weeks. Oh, okay, if they're letting them stay around a little bit, that means it's uh, they not won't. too bad. And then he writes, I'm honestly at a loss for words. Wow. Jesus, Elo. No, he's just slurring all of them. <laughs> right. And then we got uh, comments to this on Arbor. His um, his uh, his last day will be sometime in the next three weeks, perhaps in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that falls in the time frame, doesn't you it? You know what it is, Lee? Though I mean, Lee is an amazing guy. I mean, he's he 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 could talk for hours about what FM. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, fucking, you can comment on the story. And the first one I see is good riddance, putz, funkus. <laughs> good riddance, putz. That's nice. <laughs> fucking idiots. Anyway. Mm. Good for you, Lee. Good for you. What are he's going to do, though? Huh? Probably re- He's probably reopening the McMartin preschool. <laughs> <laughs> the new no pants policy. Uh, <laughs> well, they all they do is crap them. Might as well walk around without them. Uh, let's say hi to Bob in Chicago. Bob, hey there, Bob. How's Chicago? Hey, how's, how's it going, gentlemen? Hey, hey, good. Hey, look, 
Look here, man. I didn't really need to get put on. I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that uh, if you're interested, uh, Kramer last night on CNBC, you know, what's his name? Uh, Jim Kramer. Right. He, he, right. He was going on and on. Uh, he did went into quite a rant about how uh, terrestrial radio was trying to kill satellite, and he was talking about how terrestrial radio is dead and it sucks. And oh, uh, that makes guys. a baker's dozen heart attacks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's some uh, bit of information you got there, Bab. <laughs> Glad you called with it. Hey, well, that's what I'm here for. Bab. That's what you're uh, you here know, for. Help you guys out when you're struggling. You yeah, know? yeah, when we're struggling. We're not struggling. <laughs> struggling. Yeah, you, you, so you come up I with some... you guys, man. Hey, yeah, we man. love you. Go hey. Bear. Go Bears. Jim, Jim Norton will be there in Chicago on April 25th. Early show sold out. There might be some tickets on the late show. Hey, by the way, why is Tweety Bird wearing a red suit? Oh, it's Dr. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking cunt. Can she oh. stop trying to look young? She has a wow. fucking, it's an awful, she has like Florence Henderson's wig on from 1974. <laughs> She's had so much corrective surgery. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can see a neck is there, but her face is pulled back like when the American werewolf in London was changing. <laughs> gonna... I fucking can't. What a fucking goody two-shoes she is with that I hairy pussy. I don't like that Dr. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Chicago. <laughs> sausages. Sausages. Hey, get me one of them near sausages. Let's go to Mike in Canada. Oh, I want to come on her fucking oh, speaking face. Speaking of stupid accents. Hi, Mike? Canada. Hey, Canada. Can you say about or house, please? A yeah. boot. A boot. Hey, how you doing there, eh? What's yeah. Hey. You mean hey, hey? Hey. Hey, I know why Hans going to the lesbian bars, because he likes the drugs. Yeah, they got good drugs at drugs the lesbian bars. Drugs at lesbian bars? Do they? Oh, yeah. Honestly, I have no oh, idea. Yeah. I was just, I was having beer. Pampering? I was drinking well, uh, a beer. Too. I got a rock stream for you guys. Oh, <laughs> wow. Way to be ready? topical. Yeah. That was last week's news. I was hoping that rock screen would end with a fucking anvil falling on his fucking foot. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. Uh, you know the yelp of pain you'd give out if an anvil landed on your foot? On the bone of your foot? Wow. And it landed like the corner end first. You know what you don't see in movies anymore? Quicksand. I know. <laughs> yeah, what happened? What happened? Yeah. happened to quicksand? It was it used to be, a quicksand scene. It used to be right? horrifyingly yeah. terrible. That was exactly. a scary thought, wasn't it? To get sucked into the earth. I yeah. think everyone knows now that it's not like that. Yeah. And it's you not? could just kind of float on it. Yeah. And if you swim, kind of tread water a little bit and not panic just and try to get out. Just an umbrella and pull his dumb ass out, right? Yeah. You could get out of it. Can you? Yeah. 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 I love how they just slowly sunk in old movies. Yeah, I know. It's great. You put your foot on the black guy's head and then reach to <laughs> claw your way through the fucking shrubbery. <laughs> hey, we should have mentioned this on the other side uh, because we're live in Cleveland on uh, that fine station up there. Uh, but uh, there's spon somebody sponsoring a sticker stop at the WMMS studios during the Maxwell show from 2 to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah? Just oh, got the word out. Is it today? Oh, we should have mentioned that. We should have mentioned it on the other side. Maybe you guys should wait a day, and we'll do it on the other side and get the, get the people going down there. We didn't there. know. We didn't know, sir. Cleaver right. land. We're going to take a quick break and continue with the Opie and Anthony show. Let's not forget, Otto and George uh, wow. have wow. a new DVD wow. out called Wanted for Crimes Against Humanity. Three dummies and a puppet. You got John Valby, you got Otto and George, and you got this guy. You hear me talking, hillbilly boy? <laughs> and you got pretty Paul Parsons all on one pretty DVD. Pretty far from OK. <laughs> go to left.com for, uh, for the DVD and go to ottoandgeorge.com for content. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. There is a new element of vulgarity. Opie and Anthony is outrageous. Fuck you. Move and fuck you. Damages our children. Go fuck yourself. And diminishes their future. Evil. Evil. This is a tragedy for the society. Are you mad, Jimmy? I'm annoyed, yeah, but I mean, because Pete was going to help. Yeah. Oh. But he didn't, you know. We uh, we said yes to Meatloaf, and then he said no to us after, I don't know, he was booked or something. Yeah, I'm really fucking here. Clark of shit. Trying to find out. We were doing him a favor. Yeah, damn it. Rob in Iowa, what's up? Yeah, you, you shit dicks. You stepped all over Otto's great line. Oh. What was that? 
Oh, and you guys talking about uh, drugs in the lesbian bar? He says pampering. <laughs> what did you say? Pampering. <laughs> Hold on, I was distracted because Otto was uh, was tracking our speed with his radar detector that he brought into the studio today. That's an old oldie time Minolta camera. <laughs> Look at this thing. Like that. How fast am I going? That's, Super. Just pretend you're in Dealey Plaza. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a great camera if you're filming the Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, he's shooting eight millimeter. It looks nice. Like, yeah, it yeah. really looks like a radar gun, man. Super eight, motherfucker! It's film. Yeah, real film. Yeah, people don't use that anymore. It's cool. I'm telling you, real Check film looks wall. great. I'm What's it? A sixteen next sound. Oh, yeah, you I are. Make a feature film with a sixteen millimeter camera. Yeah, that would roll. And blow it up to thirty-five. That's what they did with Easy Rider. Mm -hmm. I'm onto something. Show that shit at Sundance. I'm my own fucking movies. I'm not gonna wait. Show us how convenient yeah. it is to take the tape out and put I that. Learned, learned, <laughs> that was you know, great last that night. That was I've one got of a my little frazzled. <laughs> one of my favorite moments ever was him just going, "Oh, piece of cake." Yeah. Fucking an hour later with a mallet. <laughs> so long Why do you hurt me? <laughs> <laughs> I just want that camera to somehow blow up in his face. <laughs> Fucking acidic burns all over his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking camera backfires. Yeah, battery, acid, yeah. battery acid right in his fucking yeah. stupid face. <laughs> there you go. Film that asshole. <laughs> come back. Film the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. come, come back and do the radio show. We have more oh, love in the world. It. Hey, let's say hi to Robin. <laughs> Robin, Iowa. What's up? I was saying you guys uh, stepped over Otto's line about drugs in the lesbian bar. What was it? We heard it. <laughs> right. How many times? You're oh. going to do it all day? Yeah. Yeah, you want, you want me to say it again? No. Yes. No. Stop, Bears. <laughs> say it again. Broncos. All right. Thank you, sir. We got a uh, Filipino beauty pageant answer. These are always good. Oh, good. Filipino? Yeah, they ask her a question. Beauty and, pageant. And she attempts to, you know, sound smart and ends up sounding very stupid. What letter comes after Q? <laughs> Janina, how are you? I'm fine. All right, so you won two of the major awards, best in long gown, best in swimsuit. Do you feel any pressure right now? No, I don't feel any pressure right now. Confident. All right. Oh, Please whoa, 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 wow, that was whoa, close. Whoa, whoa. I thought he was calling her a cunt. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> no pressure, huh? She must have like an ass cave. <laughs> Fresh. Confident. All right. Whoa, Please whoa, use whoa, the whoa, whoa, let's try that again. Mm. Right now. Confident. All right. Please choose a name of a judge. This is the sexiest we have sardine fisherman in fucking time. Filipinos. Good evening. Dirty Good country. Evening. The question is, what role did your family play with you as candidate to Bidi Bidi Filipinas? Whoa. Uh, the penis. Well, what? Bidi Bidi but The itty bitty penis. Bidi, bidi, bidi. What did Tweaky say? <laughs> bidi 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 <laughs> The Bidi Bidi Penis. <laughs> bidi 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 he play with you as candidate to be the bidding Filipinas. <laughs> you, well, Jesus. my family's role for me Family. is so important. Yeah. Because yeah, sex trader, you're gonna be there was the <laughs> they are, they was the one. Oh, we get the shit. Very. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, my family, my family. Oh my God. Is a Spitzer? I'm. <laughs> Okay. Wow, they're not I'm very so forgiving. I'm so sorry. They're I, laughing. Yeah. I told you that I'm so confident. Ito, um, wait. <laughs> mm. Wow. Um, sorry, Yammering guys, because airhead. this was really my first pageant ever. Because I'm only 17 years old. All right. And <laughs> been fucking for 10 years. I, yeah. I did not expect <laughs> that I came from, I came from one of the top 10. Mm. Oh. What? So oh, no, it's walking on my back. But I said, <laughs> fuck her family. Not Watch your my fish family slit. is the most important person in my life. Fucking Thank pig. you. Candidate number fifteen, Janina Sandigal. Yeah, good yes. for her. Yeah, good for you. Good wow. job. Shouldn't job. she be fucking? Shouldn't shouldn't uh, Robert Loja and Richard Gere be fucking her? <laughs> An officer and a gentleman. <laughs> Hey, big spender, give us your money. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Good golly, isn't that wonderful? Hey, who do you think is going to win Mississippi? <laughs> <laughs> who are you voting for, Otto? 
Well, or is that a private uh, well, question? Like the Obama, he's just not black enough. You know, you need a, a scary black guy with prison <laughs> muscles. You know, <laughs> you want... really don't you think a scary? You know, you're no. going the other way then. Yeah, I think like it's, a lot of people saying he's uh, like a golfer. You know, I don't know what that I think guy. He, he's safe black. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I don't think it makes a difference who's elected because nothing's going to fucking change. I mean, the fact that. Yeah, the no. fact that people still think that voting has any impact at all. The only impact you can have is a revolution, an assassination. That makes a change. I yeah. think um, I think Obama mm -hmm. would make a difference. I think people would actually, it would be a change. Really? How yeah, so? because, I mean, because Whitey is so guilt-ridden yeah. uh, that I think a lot more of his policies would pass than if just some old white guys in there and they could always vote against it. Nothing ever gets done in Washington anymore. If... if uh, Congress likes something, the president vetoes it. Yeah. If the president writes something, Congress doesn't vote on it, uh, and, and it doesn't go through. But I think Obama writes something, and then everyone goes, we have to vote, yes, or else we'll look like we're racists. Oh, no And way. they would just let you through. What? No fucking way. No Do you way. Don't see, you don't see this country as being the most guilt-ridden white people on the face of the earth. I'm not either. Yeah. That makes two of us, Otto. Yeah. And uh, George, although yeah. he's wood, yeah. that might makes three. Yeah, everyone else is a liberal yeah. pieces of shite. You know, regular Joe has a comment. Okay, regular Joe. Regular Joe. Well, yeah. uh, you know, let the big muckety mucks work it out. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> I like regular Joe. <laughs> regular Joe. <laughs> he, he really puts <laughs> things in perspective. Oh, yeah. Re regular Joe should be fucking slaughtered like a lamb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bobby D from Brockton writes, Otto wants Michael Clark Duncan as president. <laughs> yeah. And then Gino oh, yeah. from Philly writes, Kimbo no, Slice Marcellus for vice Wallace. president. Huh? Marcellus Wallace would be president. perfect. <laughs> I'm pretty dark. fucking far from all right. I'm the president, motherfucker. But here's a good regular Joe kind of a, um, a, right. a phrase. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nothing doing. That's my bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, nothing doing. <laughs> nothing my, doing. That's nothing doing. That's my bread and butter. <laughs> Use yeah, a little yeah. elbow grease. <laughs> uh, regular <laughs> Joe says, well, yeah. what do I know? I just work here. Yeah. <laughs> that comes from upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a working stiff. You know? Regular Joe what do I should be know? hit by a car. Oh, no, regular Joe sh should fucking like fall with his legs onto a subway oh. and, and just have them crushed <laughs> where he's like a tourniquet. And then he gets his mouth fucked before they pull the train away. <laughs> and his guts spill all over the tracks. <laughs> Fuck this regular Joe. It's like Joe is pressed between the platform and train and his family comes down and they can't say goodbye because he's having his mouth fucked. Oh. And when his wife goes to hug him, they pull the train away and his guts spill all over. Uh, ending his life. Yeah. Let's say hi to Kevin in New Hampshire. <laughs> Kevin! Wow. <laughs> Kevin! How do you do, regular Joe? Wow. All right. Kevin? Hello, sir. How you doing? Hey, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? What hey, up? Kevin. Hey, uh, back on an earlier subject from today, Anthony, <laughs> yes. when you woke up alone in the chair alone in the studio, mm -hmm. how long did it take you to realize Wow, I'm not dreaming. I really am on the radio. Oh, it was a matter of uh, probably five or six seconds. I woke up, I looked around, and then I remembered I was supposed to be doing a radio show. Hmm. And I went, oh, fuck. Thinking, no, thinking that your whole career is a dream, and like, kind of yeah. like the Newhart last show when, you, when he woke up. And oh, yeah, and it could have been a dream sequence, and I was asleep at my crappy tin-knocking job. <laughs> and I just woke up. Well, that would suck. Oh, my God, would that suck? <laughs> Imagine that. I fall asleep. I wake up and I think uh, I had a whole radio career and I realize, oh my God, I'm still just fucking I, knocking I, tin. I just dozed off in, in an attic. That would kind of be cool because, you know, I don't know, I'd be a lot younger. I wouldn't have gotten married. <laughs> yeah, true. We, uh, we got a uh, old woman getting... I like that sound. What I do, do too. What That's you, cool. What are you doing, Otto? I'm filming He's you He's taking guys. film. I'm making a movie. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do a silent documentary. This yeah. is, it's not fast motion uh, fucking... What do you think? You're Babe Ruth running right, around no the bases? Candid photographs with this thing chugging away like a <laughs> no fucking cappuccino man. machine. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me capture the moment. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, that really is a noisy. Whispered helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they never got good footage of Bigfoot. They heard <laughs> they heard it scared it away every time. Away, right? Jesus Christ! What the hell was that? <laughs> Turn it on again. I want to throw Omar out of the helicopter. <laughs> Omar's okay. <laughs> I told you a long time ago not to film me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't monkey. ever film me, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> All right, stupid Omar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's great. Good. I got to go back to this. Ignore uh, the jackhammer and the cappuccino <laughs> machine. Token black fan from Boston writes, Anthony acts like there aren't already black people in Congress and the Senate. <laughs> Some Asian woman with a pointy hatchet throw a grenade in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I make silent films. My boys love it. <laughs> Death cards. Let Charlie, let Charlie know who made everybody deaf with their camera. <laughs> hey, put that viewfinder right up our ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, man. Oh, you guys are that song. riot. A regular riot. Are you an assassin, Willard? <laughs> regular Joes. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'll say it again. Token black guy from Boston writes, Anthony acts like there aren't already black people in Congress mm -hmm. and, and uh, the Senate. Yeah, I know there are, but not uh, as a top. Gets... President... Black guy. Oh, that's my bread and butter. <laughs> and nothing will change. I'll still go down to the shop. Yeah, you know, it's six to one, half a dozen the other. Right. <laughs> Says regular Joe. <laughs> oh, please, regular Joe. Kill yourself. S-E-Z, regular Joe. <laughs> my girlfriend fucking hates regular Joe. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Of course. He's a non-entity. She won't acknowledge when regular Joe talks. But is, regular... that, is that a character you're doing in, in on the radio show or on stand-up? No, stand all, everything in the radio show is from my, like, every character. No, never stand-up. Oh. It's all real life that I annoy yeah. my girlfriend with and I bring here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I fucking do regular Joe. Yeah, well, I bring the funny stuff to the radio. We get the uh, the special you, characters. You get the characters, yeah. like yeah. Uncle yeah. Paul. All I love how he goes, oh, never the, never the act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, never on stage. Yeah, I don't do these on stage because they don't work. It's like uh, the, the regular Joe she hates. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, she's just like, fucking regular Joe is nothing. Yes, hey. Bird in the hands worth two in the bush. Absolutely. Well, she wants feelings from you, right? Yeah. Not bits. That's right. She yeah. wants regular Joe and a pair of balls in her face. <laughs> yeah. Take them apples. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? He's a good cock choking. <laughs> an, I'll give you two Uncle Pauls and an ass fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you give me for a regular Joe and a load in the hair? <laughs> 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 we got this. Susan Mitchell was in her mm -hmm. Davidson County home during Tuesday evening storms and heard the weather alerts on TV. Oh, this dumb bitch. They were putting tornado watches and then warnings across the bottom of the screen. Mitchell says she got scared. She grabbed her cats and took cover in a bedroom closet. I fell asleep mm, and I woke up and I wanted to get out and I couldn't get out. In her rush for safety, she forgot the closet door locks from the inside. Why would you have a closet door that locks from the inside? In case your shirts want to make a break for it. And if it locks from the inside, <laughs> can't she get out? Oh, yeah, it locks from it's, the inside. It means if it locks from the outside. Oh, there, good point, good point. Like, this this whole fucking thing is, is screwy. Maybe this dumb broad thought she was locked in her own house. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, I can't get out of the closet. Locked from the inside. It would be the outside. And why? Instead of panicking, she found a wood panel in the closet. <laughs> and tried to bust the door open. All right. It didn't work. She slipped a note under a crack in the closet door. For who? Help! I'm trapped in the closet since Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb fuck. Why you, would you, oh, please. Why would you put a, uh, uh, a note outside the door when you could just yell help? It's yeah. in your closet, yeah. You hear yeah. people there go, oh, I hope they got my note. anybody's <laughs> out there, read the note. <laughs> <laughs> Grab that note. <laughs> And somebody would read it and go, I can't read it. I'm sticking the closet. How do you stick in a closet when they leave? <laughs> Half natural. <laughs> Unbelievable. The closet door. Help! I'm trapped in the closet since Tuesday night, 12 a.m. Just in case someone came looking for her, 20 hours would pass with no food, water, or medication Toilet. for her diabetes. <laughs> uh, diabetes! <laughs> I was trapped in a closet, and I had the diabetes. Yeah. And oh. Liberty came to the door, and uh, you didn't see my note. They said, help, I'm trapped in the closet. So I missed my diabetes medication. Yeah. And help. then they said, why you say it like diabetes? We're not even going to save you. 
outcast with no food, water, or medication for her diabetes. I would have slipped candy so under the door. <laughs> there you go. Eat this. Lose a couple sister. of toes, you old fucking clumsy twat. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> Say goodbye to the fucking pinky toe. <laughs> that would slip under there. Fruit roll-ups and ribbon candy. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Be ready for some sleaze stack feet. <laughs> Fucking shuffle along, you old burden. Yeah, just, just leave the closet under the door one piece at a time. <laughs> I'm almost out. A few fingers left. You know what I would have done? As, she, as, as I see that old fucking crooked hand coming under for the note, I would like to grab her fingers and just yank as hard as I can. Just fucking break her wrist and the fucking... Like, pull her hand through the bottom of the closet door so her hand is sticking out and she feels like an asshole. <laughs> it's sticking out like fucking... Like, thing in fucking the Adam family. <laughs> with all of her fingers facing up, and then rub your asshole on one, yeah. so it smells like shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Just fucking take up, stand up, and take a leak on her hand. <laughs> You see, you're trying to pull it back in. Fuck, 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 fuck. Something like Otto's camera. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Otto. Otto. That is dummy. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, a lot of questions coming in. Uh, who the fuck has a pen and pad in the fucking closet? <laughs> and then Matt Lafar from Queensbury writes, "Help, help! I'm trapped in the closet," said Steve Corley. <laughs> and, then, and then someone from Philly writes, "How do you got audio? Wait, how are you guys playing audio?" For from Steve's head. <laughs> a lot of Steve jokes coming in right now. <laughs> oh, I ripped off a piece of my assless chap <laughs> and carved in the leather. <laughs> She'd be fucking kneeling on the floor in the closet with her face pressed against the door and her fucking hand stuck through it. <laughs> it snapped wrist. Her fucking stupid charm bracelet. She'd move and it would just jingle. <laughs> scratch her. <laughs> stupid silhouettes of her grandkids. Yes, that's right. Five faces you'll never see again. <laughs> and when they did open the closet door, it would hurt her hands so much. She had to crawl quickly with the door so her fucking hand skin didn't get ripped. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> the only way to get it off is when you get the door open, you have to step on her forearm and just open the door quickly. <laughs> Rip that shitty charm bracelet. <laughs> Trying to convince herself a piece of cat shit is a Snickers. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> just gnawing away. Hey, how you doing, boys? Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> oh, Mongo the trucker. The cats are in the closet with her, right? Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah, she took the cats and ran into the closet. Oh, that's great. Oh. You can only hope that this story ends with the cats nibbling on her toes, well, gnawing can, away uh, at her open wounds that won't heal because <laughs> of her diabetes. You can <laughs> almost hear them going, ah, this dumb cunt. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. And no tornado or storm hit her house or anything. Nothing. The dummy locks herself in a closet. Fucking idiot. A knee jerk. The cats, the cats must have been so disgusted with her. Yeah. Oh, look at this baby. <laughs> ammonia piss. <laughs> She's just sitting there with her fucking stockings in ammonia piss. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else happened here. Food, water, or medication for her diabetes. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was so thirsty, I think I would have hit somebody for water. Instead, she finally thought to hit the wall. The force of her swing made a hole a little more than a foot wide to crawl through. Threw another blanket out there in the floor in a pillow and squeezed through the hole. She, she bashed the hole in the wall Yeah, and went through. How long was she in there for? Uh, like 20 hours. She didn't uh, decide to do that a little sooner? No kidding. Hmm. Mitchell is glad her ordeal is over and she lived to tell the story. So I say to everybody, oh, Jesus, loudly. keep a hammer in your closet, tie your cell phone around your neck. Yeah. Or how about take the lock off your closet, you fucking cunt? <laughs> right. What are you afraid, the moths are going to sneak out? <laughs> the moths. And take a hammer and hit yourself over the head with a claw end. Take That's a hammer to do what? Build yourself an escape hatch? You're already in there, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Always a lesson. In your closet. Tie your cell phone around you. <laughs> Tightly. And then to a beam. And um, be in shape. <laughs> and be in shape. <laughs> yeah. Keep a, keep a toaster in the closet. <laughs> and uh, a photo of the Blues Brother. <laughs> and some bottle of water. Yeah. Some bottles of water. And some ST37 to rub on your clit in case of an injury. <laughs> in case of an injury. <laughs> All right. And bring a little. And bring something to wash your clit with. <laughs> so the cats don't start lapping at it. <laughs> she would wake up every five minutes and the cats would be lapping at her clit hood. <laughs> they thought it was a little fish hatchery. <laughs> 
cool <laughs> salmon eggs under that fucking <laughs> that, that fleshy fold. <laughs> oh, Delicious little treat hider. <laughs> <laughs> Chester's liver writes, does she live in a gingerbread house? She's an old diabetic. How brittle was the wall? I got to make. I, I got to make. Going? Hey, what? Well, oh, yeah, she got to make the tacky. Right, oh, yeah. You're gonna, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I got to get busy. Go ahead. We, we ta I we're tag team over here. Are you dumping? No, he's got oh. pee pee. You got oh. pee pees? I asked this shit. <laughs> I hope the fucking door is locked and he just shits down the back of his fucking, his acid wash jeans. <laughs> <laughs> fucking auto. Your camera's gonna be broken when you get back, stupid. <laughs> he should have taken it with him. Sure, he should have. <laughs> Cover up the sounds of this shit. That <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's very comforting for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Too distracting. I hope he fucking dies on the toilet. <laughs> I hope an hour later, fucking Otto is just dead on the toilet. <laughs> with his fucking pants around his ankles. <laughs> he dies as he lived, shitting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that, we'll take a quick one. Just a quick one, a single break yeah, right, right now on the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy, I know I speak like an idiot. Do you? It's all about me. Is it? I, I was assaulted. Were you? We're brilliant broadcasters. Are we? You are out of your mind. Am I? Oh, that sounds real good. Does it? I'm thrilled. I'm excited. Am I? I thought I heard Negro. Did you? It's the OB and Anthony show. Is it? Um, Otto is not back from taking his dump. Uh-oh. Maybe Jimmy was right and he oh, died boy. on the bowl. Someone check on uh, Otto. Otto. Send, send George in. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony show. A busy one today. With all the news, the breaking news. By the way, I want to thank all the pests that were helping out with the Google bomb yesterday. Yeah. Baby diaper mustache was doing very well yesterday. and then was it? Then dumb Elliot Spitzer had to trip over his dick. Ah, that's right. And fuck up everything. Yeah, that must have taken uh, taken away the lead. We were rocking the uh, the Google bomb yesterday with the baby diaper mustache. The did you see the uh, segment is ruined? Did you see the video that's uh, taking the nation by storm there, Otto? I heard about it. You actually did that. Well, uh, yeah, boss, that's disgusting. Boss uh, got me in a corner. I did had you to. puke. Uh, yeah, I puke. Not. A lot of people get, are, uh, got confused because the video uh, shows me like kind of, it looks like I'm puking in a wastebasket uh, yeah. right here. I was actually dry heaving horribly. And then when I went in the bathroom and I couldn't get the smell off my off this part, I started puking. Oh, God. And I, it takes a lot for me to puke. Yeah. Oh, so it didn't wash off in one... Yeah. You know, what, you know what it was? Baby fecal matter. I had uh, I had a little goatee kind of oh. growing in, so it was <laughs> on every individual hair. Oh, man. Uh, Last night, I was still You're scrubbing away word. under my nose. Scrubbing away. Jesus. And my girl is now finally kissing the bottom lip. Oh, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> three days later, she will now just kiss the bottom lip. Here's, the, here's the video, Otto. Oh, okay. It's on all the screens. Uh, yeah, it's getting, it's doing very nicely on the old internet. It's in a lot of places. I guess what, onaradio.com wouldn't, uh, put it on their website there, Steve? I guess not. I guess not. They, they, they were sent it, but it hasn't shown up there yet. Why? Bunch of dummies. Yeah, see. Good I, stuff. Otto, because, uh, yeah. I really didn't mm -hmm. expect to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, uh, a stunt boy for the most part. I've yeah. done some stunty things in my career. Yeah. But, uh, I got caught with my pants down. What mm -hmm. am I going to do? I would have looked like a, the biggest asshole if I didn't go through with it. That's true, yeah. But Voss uh, brought in a diaper filled with baby shit. You uh, had no choice at that point. Very right? green. And they weren't going to let you leave without doing it, right? Uh, well, I was I was looking for an out. One yeah. of my outs was going to throw it at either Rich Voss or Bob <laughs> Kelly or smear, it in, you? or smear it in E-Rock's face. And then oh, I'm, that well, would have been the best. Well, I'm thinking of all <laughs> oh, the possibilities in my head, and I'm thinking, you know, the listeners are going to crucify me. None of these are going to work. i yeah. got to do this now. Yeah. It was like green and kind of like uh, caramel colored. Yeah. <sighs> like uh, butterscotch pudding. All right. With a little like, uh, <laughs> with a little melted dark chocolate in there. E Rock, you and have something yellow. to say? Kind of spongy. Yes, E. Um, we were trying to sort this out yesterday. CBS will not put the photos, video, or link to them 
You up hear on this, any Jimmy? Of the properties. This what? is this is one of the things we talked about yesterday. What do you rock? You uh, hear this? This is why I don't want to deal with those fuckers. What? The See, baby diaper mustache video or any of the pictures will not be up on uh, they won't the be website. hosted nor linked to off their uh, their property. They don't like why? scatological <laughs> oh. humor. However, last night I did see that it's on their YouTube channel. But the diaper, it, it, there's no, there's, what fucking pussy makes these decisions? Because the diaper, that you don't see anything happening in the diaper, fucking idiots. No. They no. said they can't do anything related to shit. Well, they just fucking look at their programming. <laughs> God, that was a good one on my part. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. This, yeah, is the, fuck this is what we've been dealing with with these guys. It's your babies. Yeah, they, mm. they, we, they want us to have a completely squeaky clean fucking website, and then we're allowed to promote it over there. Gee, thanks. But we can't even put this up on a, a website. What's wrong with this? As long as it's not going in your mouth, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the shit um, like, things are. It's a, it's it's on. This is how out of touch they are. It's the internet. You're yeah. supposed to be a little edgy around the net. Right. You could do anything. It's playing yeah. somewhere, right? It's just you want it more widely spread or something. Well, it's on. Spread. It's on YouTube. It's on opianthony.com. It's doing very well. I, I saw it, it on it a bunch of websites. Coed People magazine. People should have to search a little for. This is like a snuff film. It's like, <laughs> you think it's a snuff film? Not what you do. Yeah, it's creepy. It's disgusting. <laughs> it really is yeah. disgusting. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how bad it would be, but that is just horrific. Well, here it goes, Otto. Yeah. I, <laughs> I see you retching a little there. I, I'm just trying to get up the nerve to actually do this. I mean, how, yeah, how do you bring okay. yourself to do... Oh, you got gloves on? Yeah, because I... And he's got like, two what? dollops of shit What's on the each hood? Doesn't index it trap the odor even more? I don't know why I put the hood up. I huh. I was just feeling, like, silly, I guess. Yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Why can't they do anything with shit on the com online? Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that is difficult to watch. Yeah. Right there, I'm dry heaving. Yeah. I'm not puking. I'm dry heaving horribly, though. Like, my stomach wants to just start puking. <laughs> wow. God. And then it just gets worse and worse, and it takes me forever to get it off my fucking face. Huh? He fell off his chair. I love I, that part. I fell down. Yeah. And now I'm wiping it pretty much all over my face because I can't control the wiping process. And then I just need to get the fuck out of the studio. <laughs> <I'm dry heaving. laughs> Look how bad you're just yeah. dry heaving. Everyone else is puking. Now I'm like pissed. And now I got the diaper. I'm like, I got to take someone down with me. And <laughs> no one was around. Look, see, you see everyone kind of Everyone's scattering. Fled. And then I barely got in the garbage pail and then ran down the hall. There oh, we go. Nice sprint. And then when I come back, I'm banging off the walls. And then my eyes were tearing for the rest of uh, the show. God. It was awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, well, the video's doing well on YouTube. You can go there at least to see it. Baby diaper mustache. Look like Inspector Clouseau for a second. Or two. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Carl. <laughs> certainly fucking better than Steve Martin. Yeah. <laughs> that Steve Martin film was what he smeared under his nose. Oh, God. And what he, sh he should have fucking smeared on the screen, because that's what the movie was. <laughs> he should get bone marrow cancer for making that. <laughs> yep. You know what's funny? I, uh... <laughs> Could you sign this? My son's a big fan. He's in the hospital. Oh, yeah. I hope you get cancer. You should only get cancer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movement. There's people attempting to try to say that this is fake. It's so that obvious. Happens with I, no. Every I, single. Look at my eyes watering. I can't act. I'm not an actor. I happens suck. With every video out there, I absolutely it's fake. suck. Mm. Haven't talked to Rich Voss since. I think he's a little scared. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the video was also removed from ripevideos.com. What's the what the fuck is going on with the internet? Now they're starting to get pussied. Yep. Pussified. Well, as big corporations buy out these var the, these these viral sites, you're subject to whatever rules and regulations those huge corporations buy. Well, as long as they don't. That's why the internet is so, so great is because you get away with more than network TV and don't cable pull TV. Sites, then and like so you can't boob. put <laughs> so you can mock shooting somebody but you can't put pudding under your nose? I mean, like, yeah. that's... Whoa, don't say that, because now they're going to say, Fuck see, what they... see, Jimmy admitted <laughs> it on the show today. But yeah. meaning, it's Blind like, that's, that's the beauty of that video. You never see the fucking diaper being filled. That's the fucking... Yeah. This is not... Oh, you fucking assholes out there, you fucking corporate faggots. They're always going to move the line on you, so, you know, you can't... They're just cowards. They're, bu they're a bunch of people who know nothing about being funny. Yeah. They, they know nothing about being talented. <clears throat> they're fucking... They're just fucking just douchebags and ties. They're all Elliot Spitzer. Yeah. They're fucking nerds who don't live the way they fucking expect everybody else to live. Yeah. Here, here's what happens, That's too. So There's a site out there that will get popular. 
Uh, just say it's some video site. It'll get popular because there's such outrageous, cool videos to watch on there. Right. Then a big company will notice, wow, this, this uh, site uh, gets a lot of hits. Yeah. I'm going to buy it. Then we're going to put commercials on it. And we're going to eliminate all the good shit that people went there to see. Yeah. And then when it fails, they wonder, what happened? Mm. Why? Uh, well, it was such a popular site uh, before we bought it. Yeah. But no one will take responsibility or admit the fact that they just didn't leave it the fuck alone. No, uh, they got to fuck with it. No, it's a bummer. We have a really good relationship with Break.com, and yeah. they refuse to put it on their front page because they've been uh, bought up hmm. by a big uh, corporation. And you can't blame the guys because if you're if, Dude, you're, sitting, if the... you're sitting in your basement uh, <clears throat> uh, fucking up with your computer and, and you, you make a website, and a year later the thing's worth $3 billion... I'd sell it like a, if it was my mother. I'd sell. Sure. I'd sell her for that much. Sure. For fucking. Why, uh, why are people like? Are they afraid of like complaining? Somebody's going to complain by phone or I don't know what it is. You can't sue them. Yeah. It's the internet. Right? They don't want to be. The thing is, they're companies. It's yeah. not just like some company bought it and said, "Hey, I own this website." It's like I own this website and I own Paramount Pictures oh, okay, so and I own Blockbuster Video. I don't and, want my product linked with right. uh, diaper shit. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy. Yeah. So they, they it ru it ruins everything. Yeah. Ruined. Break dot <laughs> shows room. Break dot com thought it was break dot uh, break dot com thought it was a great video. They mm -hmm. laughed. They said it was hilarious, but they can't put it on their front page because they've been you know bought up by a big company. Mm -hmm. the, break dot com. If you do a quick search, one of their most popular videos is the famous uh, girl you know getting diarrhea shitting in the, in the hot tub. In the hot tub. No. That is, I think if you search uh, break dot com all time uh, most viewed videos, I believe it's right up there in the top ten or so. Yeah, a shit video. Yeah, but this one, you know, uh, innocent little mustache. There was no ingesting or no nothing like that with this video. You know, it's it's a shame. I bet really. John Ru Waters had that poodle shit eating scene, and now he's a big <laughs> Broadway uh, baby. You know, yeah, dude, he, we had John Waters in. Yeah, he must. He was been, I mean, he was, was he cool? really really cool and interesting. Wow. Absolutely, bit of a weirdo, but yeah. really strange. Yeah. Extremely he's strange. Not, strange. I have his comb. Yeah, he's yeah, calm. you you do. Yeah, mm. Mm. really. That's between us. Keep John it under Waters. your hat. That's, oh, right. that's, the that's a regular Joe says. Keep it under your hats. <laughs> yeah. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? <laughs> Fuck off, regular Joe. <laughs> it's time for today's talker. And okay, you know, when you leave for work or simply get out of the house to run errands, do you ever worry your pets are going to get bored while you're away? Yeah. It's never dawned on me, but <laughs> anyways, that's something you may never thought of, like me, but it's something a valley man has dedicated, yeah. dedicated a huge portion of his life, actually the last seven years. All new this morning, Sarah Kallstrom tells you about a radio station for cats only. Oh well, yes, a little Kiki D oh. on Cat Galaxy. A strange premise, maybe, an internet radio station <laughs> meant just for cats. All cats, all the time. The idea came to Noel Rosen almost seven years ago, right when he felt one of his cats seemed bored. He put in a CD, and the rest is history. Music started playing, Isis laid down and relaxed, and Cat Galaxy was born. You fruit. Mouse like farts. The, the Meow Mix fucking theme song over and over. <laughs> <laughs> what is a cat? It doesn't matter. I hope it's the sound of a fucking screeching car tire instead of thud. <laughs> play the same thing, they won't mind. Rosen calls this his studio, where he broadcasts live two hours every morning, two hours every night. We've got the Wednesday night cat attack, we've got the Thursday night purr party, and the Friday night feline frenzy. Nothing gets on the air that hasn't been cat approved. We have to throw away the human way of thinking that everything is meant for humans. Oh, Cats, I think, know what they want to hear. This if you're one of the three million people who have visited his website over the past seven years, three. What? This is why the Iraqs fucking hate us. We have yeah. fucking radio for cats over for here. Cats. They have nothing to eat over in fucking Iraq. No wonder they hate us. You know, it. This. The, I'm just thinking, if we get fired again, this is the only place we have left to go. Opie and Anthony on Cat Radio. Oh, cat Radio <laughs> Network. That would suck. <laughs> That's right. Here it is. This is the music bed. We have to do the show over. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing uh, out there, uh, cats? Uh, find any mice around the house? I hope so. Got a good mouse story coming up a little later. 
And I hope he's still teasing that fucking Spuds Buckley thing, so maybe we'll hear that someday. <laughs> I just forgot to bring it in today. I'll bring it in tomorrow. Oh, cats love this. Special segment today, the advantages of licking oh. your own asshole. <laughs> well, not an Afghan. Well, not too far Talking off. to some cats in China. Oops. That's right. That's right. They're called food. Are we pets or lunch? <laughs> today's segment from China. Guys, uh, I got the website up. Uh, uh -huh. They have some fine features like... Uh, morning meows. Mm. The purr, a lot of R's, perfect mm. start to every cat's weekday morning. Beginning at 8 a.m., we play some of the best stuff in our feline freeform format mm -hmm. and also have some great fun as well. <laughs> great fun. So get your weekday morning started off right with a lot of fun as only a station for felines can deliver. God, I hope this guy takes live calls. Please call this guy's radio show. It's, uh, it's our... catgalaxymedia.com. Uh, Meow Mixing Monday. Uh, Meow Mixing Monday has some great mixes of music from smooth jazz to alternative cats. Oh. Do I have to read this? In Heat Friday. <laughs> row, 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 <laughs> row, 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 <laughs> Stick the heel of your boot up its ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing f more fun than fucking with a cat in heat when you were a kid. Yeah. It's like, like, take the tip of my boot and poke your ass with it. <laughs> Their ass goes up in the air. You want to be fucked so bad, and you're just teasing them. Little cock tease. <laughs> but you can't put your big human fat dick in them. No. So you got to kneel with a little lipstick right by your crotch <laughs> and put your little lipstick in them, and they think they're being fucked by a cat cock. Row, row, row. Anthony, do you think that's where Jack Jack is? You think he what? got discovered by catgalaxymedia.com? I can only hope. You think he's the morning man at uh, catgalaxymedia.com? Oh, yeah. I hope fucking Jack-Jack right now is wondering why there's motorcycle tire treads in his back. No! <laughs> no. I'm he's down at the mouse circus with Mr. Jingles. Yeah, I <laughs> hope Jack-Jack is uh, pinned down with, you know, all four paws are pinned down and there's a there's a saw slowly heading toward him. <laughs> no, what the, you might be close. Yeah? Well, I did get a report. Oh, that no. little Jack Jack <laughs> oh, no. has got, got stuck in a wall. He was stuck in the wall screaming and uh, had to be cut out of the wall. Where's this? Where Jack Not Jack in my might... house. But why don't you just take Jack Jack back? I can't take Jack Jack give back. Give him a real home. Wasn't my idea to get Jack Jack. It was the ex's. Mm. And now it's uh, hers. So Jack Jack ends up getting stuck in walls now. And, and screaming and crying and getting cut out and then uh, get, get being covered in dust and sheetrock and, and probably asbestos that he had to then clean off himself. Fuck him. Poor little Jack yeah, Jack. My, I like little Jack I Jack. I do too, but he's been spoiled and coddled. He's like the Elliot Spitzer of fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad for a little guy. Oh, man, that sucks. Here's no. that galaxy staffer oh, passes away. You may have noticed that Rosen has been off the air for the past couple of months as the station recovers from a tragedy. We lost our assistant station manager <laughs> just after New Year's this year. Oh, thank God. So it was a big loss. Oh. Hope he died in a cat oriented accident <laughs> like i hope he was cleaning up cat shit and he, like he stood up too quickly and banged his head on a cabinet <laughs> or something that could have been avoided easily if you'd just mm. been careful the chinese restaurant got her <laughs> <laughs> oh wait was it a guy or a cat that died i don't know a i'm just a assuming. Cat? oh, no. you oh that it is a manager? cat oh i thought it was a guy oh wow oh. here so it was a big loss and it hit us hard and there were some uh we're just now getting back into the groove again. After six years in the position, Jade passed away. Aww. But now Rosen, his station manager and program director, are ready to get back to business. Uh, change of gear slightly. We got a uh, lovely animal story on CNN. There's a deer that is being raised like a, like a dog, like a pet. A deer that refuses to leave this fucking uh, yard of this, of this family. So they put a leash on him and stuff, and the deer actually follows the, the family around. Literally jumps up and oh, that's kind of cute. What? Look, the thing won't let him pet it. The thing won't leave. Hmm. Oh, Italy gives him fucking lie disease or Lyme disease. <laughs> lie <laughs> disease. Or, or lie disease. <laughs> Lyme disease. That's what Elliot Spitzer should have gotten. <laughs> yeah. He'll okay. fucking uh, wait. Wait till the right. deer fucking haunches up on his front and like donkey kicks somebody right in the fucking oh. gums. Here's my deer.
<laughs> Good kid. Where's your pet? He's Dra in the den from the neck up. <laughs> Drag it home. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute that the deer lets him pet it and stuff. I want to pet a deer. <laughs> Go to a petting zoo, you I'll, dummy. I want to pet a deer with brass knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Gently stroke his chin with a roundhouse. <laughs> and then just come around and clock him in that flat side of his head. How shocked would a deer be if you belted it in the face with brass knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> he would be so surprised. He would just like jump and run away in his little white. He'd never return to the yard. He wouldn't know what was happening. Well, he's so used to being like fed oats. Shuka, shuka. Yeah. <laughs> Under his chin, you give him the little shuka, 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 he's, he's, and then, and then just from back around, just a roundhouse with brass knuckles. He's used to hearing this. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is, as you're scratching his chin, then you roundhouse right in his cheekbone, and he fucking like would he'd be shocked and just run away, looking over his shoulder like, was that planned? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> or, or hold your hand out with a little bit of grain in there, so he's eating it, and and thinking everything's fine. He's chewing. And then you just come across and hit him in that little half moon kind of round <laughs> bone thing on the side of their mouth. Or across on the, onto the bridge of his fucking <laughs> button nose. You, you fucking come down with a Liddell just fucking punch. Clock him and press. <laughs> oh, oh, his eyes would be just open all big and wide, all yeah. shocked. Oh, hopefully he'd Why fall did down. he punch me with brass knuckles? Hopefully he'd fall down and then get up and run away. <laughs> Knock him out. He has to go back to the deer community and just feel like an asshole. Because <laughs> they'd all be like, we told you so. <laughs> told you. They don't just feed you. They fuck you up. They always want something. <laughs> big, big brass knuckle marks on the side yeah. of his face. <laughs> oh, they'll oh, laugh at him. Did God, he... would that be so funny to see? Break his little deer jaw. <laughs> have to talk through a wire for three months. <laughs> talk through Who's going to wire his jaw? Well, hopefully the owners care about him. Oh, okay. If not, he's going to be fucking licking, licking soft grass. Hoping to get nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking faggot deer. <laughs> I like to grab that white tail and deep dick it while he nurses his sore jaw. <laughs> <laughs> While the fucking family looks on in horror. <laughs> Tails just going, fruit, 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 fluttering. He's trying to run. <laughs> I trusted them. Mighty key He's saying. I'm being deep dicked. <laughs> yeah. Hard. <laughs> Not Might lightly. I'm Mighty... still dazed from the no. punch in the face. All right. Mighty Key say, uh, K, uh, K C, sorry, from Mudville writes, Chuck Liddell versus Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> just give him a nice, like from way around behind you. Oh, would he be surprised? A roundhouse. Oh, yeah. Go with a roundhouse. A fucking, just a jaw punch. <laughs> See if he's got a glass jaw or not. <laughs> you can fucking joke take about that out. <laughs> yeah. If you listen, expect a joke or two about man's best friend, but even more, you'll hear from a man. That's what you get for being in a station for cats. Who truly loves cats. Sarah Carlstrom, CBS 5 News. <laughs> Mm. Okay, Cat Galaxy is celebrating its seventh season, and Rosen says Ew, he doesn't make any God. money off of this. He just does it because he loves it. Did you see all the hair on the microphone? <laughs> very nice. <laughs> uh, very nice. It's very nice. wonderful. <laughs> we just have to have a little improv at the end there. Yeah. All yeah. right. Why don't we... Uh, Mm. Line of the day is brought to you by BodogFantasySports.net. They've got $1 million up for grabs in the Bodog Bracket Buster game. If you think you know uh, college basketball, head over to uh, BodogFantasySportsNet.com. Yeah. Wait, no. Mm. Head over to BodogFantasySports.net. Mm. Yeah, that's it. BodogFantasySports.net. Here is a runner-up line of the day. She would wake up every five minutes, and the cats would be lapping at her clit hood. <laughs> They thought it was a little fish hatchery. <laughs> uh, another runner-up line of the day. Hey, that's, that's great. great. I got to go back to this. Ignore uh, the jackhammer and the cappuccino <laughs> machine. <laughs> 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 Cappuccino. <laughs> Fucking auto. Auto and George.com for tour dates and uh, go to laugh.com, I believe, right? Yeah. 
for the uh, the new DVD that came out today, I guess. Wanted oh. for Crimes Against Humanity, Three Dummies and a Puppet. You got John Valby, you got Otto and George, and you got Pretty Paul Parsons all on one DVD. <laughs> Laugh.com. Jokes and piano music. Nice. That's a good uh, combo, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so. All right, here's another runner-up line of the day. His wife's yeah. name is Silda, which, you know, he couldn't have said that in a sexual sense and felt good. Oh, Silda. That's right. Jiggle them, Silda. <laughs> <laughs> Silda. Mm. Awful name, yeah. Silda. Yeah. Oof. Not sensual. Make you want to go out and fuck a hooker. Yeah. And like Silda. She should totally blame herself. Up to the second knuckle, Silda. <laughs> This guy is so fucked. What a baboon. New York governor was a rising star. Yeah. Slope-shouldered liar. <laughs> mm. Oof. Hello? 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 I like those old-fashioned rings. It'd just be nice if you actually pulled out an old-fashioned phone, <laughs> plopped it down up here. Hello? I can. Ah, get me the editor. <laughs> Line of the day, or we got uh, one more runner-up? Another runner-up line of the day. That's something I can do. Where are you, sir? Are you on the roof of a car like Grape Ape? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that's a good one. Jimmy's mm. going to be leaving, uh, what, Thursday for some, some dates? I fly out to uh, Denver Thursday, but of course, I will be in studio for Michael K. Williams. Yes. Of course, Omar, finally getting Omar in from the Folk show. Very psyched. And uh, we're going to see about meatloaf tomorrow. My agent is working on it. It's certainly not from his end. Um, it's the film company or the publicist. The managers didn't even know about it. Really? So this is not meatloaf the artist. No, it's the publicist or the film company. Once again. I don't remember them uh, getting credited with singing any of the songs. But that's that's Why always, are they making the goddamn decisions? That's, if it's the film company, I can't express mm -hmm. to you how ugly I'm going to behave towards that mm -hmm. film company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're probably L.A. based. They just go on a radio show. You know uh, what, though? You can't fight City Hall. Right, regular Joe? Regular Joe. What? It's your bitch. It's my impression of Jimmy's impression of regular Joe. So I was just kind of ripping it you off a little bit. scramble eggs, regular Joe. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, oh. We're not going to get meatloaf. Maybe they'll give us potatoes. You know, regular <laughs> Joe can be funny, too. Yeah, no <laughs> use crying over spilled milk. That's right. You know? <laughs> Whoever I, cried I, over spilt milk. Man. Yeah. Probably the pen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably on. Jake Lamotta's kids. <laughs> As they knew a good eye blackening was coming. <laughs> or Connie, if she fucking spilled some milk. Oh, yeah. Carlos waiting for his whores. Clean it up! <laughs> you guinea brat! I can't stop pinching my cock. All right, with that, we'll do line <laughs> of the day. Here, Here comes. Line of the day, line of the day, line of the day. Oh, a beautiful day. Oh, God, I got a good night. Oh, my God, they all know I had sex with a hooker. Fudgy, wudgy, buzz. Oh, fudgy, wudgy, buzz. Fudgy, wudgy, buzz. Yuck. What? Was one of Opie's characters called Spuds Buckley when he was very, on, very man. young yeah. and starting in radio. And it's probably amongst the worst things you'll ever hear in your life. I never heard Opie do characters. Oh, it's, it's and, and well, you shouldn't after Spuds Buckley. <laughs> Spuds Buckley? It is so bad. How bad is it? How would you describe Spuds Buckley? He's uh, kind of this um, childish thing. With a wacky little voice like this, oh. and comes in going la 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 la. He's, he's based on a waterhead. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. that it? He thinks he's smarter than he really is. Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 Not I'll, shy. I'll sum up Spuds Buckley. Thinks he's cool. When when Voss opened those diapers, if it had spoken. <laughs> <laughs> La, la, la. It's kind of like Jerry Lewis. Yeah, there's a, a bunch of... Uh... Good morning, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I, I'm going to get spuds down. Uh, all right, I'll bring in the disc uh, tomorrow. But why is the disc not here with the rest of the I really disc? just truly forgot it today. To but why would uh, you bring it home? Yeah, you know, because I have to control how much Spuds Buckley gets out there. He's why? embarrassed. Mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed. But it's 15 mm -hmm. years ago, Otto. It is, really? What were you doing 15 years ago? Uh... You know, doing my act. Yeah. Yeah. Banging my girlfriend at the time. 
Yeah, Wake you up on a floor somewhere. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> La 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 la. Oh no, no. no. Well, Good morning, Bearman. Oh. That was Spuds Buckley's oh, voice. Oh. <sighs> la la. Yeah, look. See? Otto can't even, like, <laughs> fathom that shit. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, Why would he go la la la? Because I told you I was all about the catchphrase. I, I was dreaming that everyone would be doing the uh, la 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 la. I'd rather have I'd rather have two of Otto's cameras and hold them tight against my ears <laughs> and just hear bah! <laughs> Ugh, Spuds Buckley's a douche. <laughs> yes, he's the worst. All right. Uh, All right, now I'm sad. So we should. Buzz Buckley's go. gonna rue the day that uh, the time machine's invented. That's right. The day it's invented, you get to go back in time and punch him in the oh, face. Oh yeah, I will. With breast Worst knuckles. idea since clear Pepsi. <laughs> Thanks, Otto. Thanks for helping. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, let's get.